Yo, anyone here? Anyone here? Am I here by myself? Am I here all by myself? What is going on, guys? Yo, nice to see you guys here, man. Nice to see you guys here. Hey, say my name. Thank you so much for joining as a junior engineer again. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yo, welcome back, guys. I've missed you guys. It's been so long. I've been so. It's been so long. What is Slappy? It's a tool that I made a while ago that I kind of abandoned for a couple months, but I've been wanting to rewrite this uh, piece of software. I've been wanting to fine tune it. Never had the chance, uh, but today I was like, all right, you know what? Let's do it today. So we're going to go ahead and work on that for who knows how long. I'm, I'm going to be streaming for you know a decent amount of time today, so that'll be pretty awesome. But pretty much it's just a way for you to generate a Discord JS project. I'll explain a little bit more. I'm just going to let some people join. But yeah. Yeah, say my name. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem, man. Hopefully you'll catch the you'll catch the uh the restream or the uh the VOD. Don't worry. Uh Alexa Bozovic, how's it going? How's it going? What does it do? Basically, you can use Slappy to create a discord js project so before the problem that i had before was that if i wanted to create a project with a command handler for discord bots i would have to uh, either copy and paste the same code over and over again and that got really annoying and i saw that there weren't any tools that, 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 that i mean i think there was one but i didn't even know about that until i actually made the original one that i had last year and then i was like all right you know what? let me actually make this and it makes it much easier for me to just have a starter project so you guys can use it and it's all it also gives a standard way on how to do certain things i guess so leo what's up lazzy how's it going it's been a while hope you're doing well man hope you're doing well but yeah you can go over to this link over here you can check it out you can do whatever you want with it and you know hopefully hopefully you'll enjoy using it it's current it's, it hasn't been updated for so long but in this live stream i'm going to be updating everything you can see that the file system is just trash like look at everything it's just so bad but don't worry we're gonna we're gonna fix everything and we're gonna make it perfect like what what kind of stuff is this it would be great if you start full stack project tutorials maybe with merton stack uh i already actually I actually do have a tutorial on my channel for merton stack so feel free to check that out it's react mongodb and express node.js so check it out uh feature request extensions you know i'm actually going to get a website for this and i'm going to actually add some documentation like recipes because i know there's been a lot of people on the discord server who've been asking specific questions like you know how can i integrate sqlize or mongodb into this project and so i'm going to probably make some documentation and you know provide some recipes provide like a cookbook so you guys can actually you know uh, so basically there's more support you know i didn't have that before but i want to have that right now i want to make it more you know friendly for people to use i didn't, I didn't think of it that way before but now you know I, there's been i've been hearing that a lot of more a lot more people have been using it which is you know pretty cool so we'll just have to update this it hasn't been updated for so long but let me actually see something wow i'm actually looking at it right now apparently it gets like 700 it got like 729 weekly downloads so that's pretty awesome well that's good to know that's good to know and i'm glad you enjoy using it ethan hill i haven't spoken to you for so long but hope you're doing well yo what's up pvt oh how's it going man it's been a while i haven't seen you for so long yo i was inspired to learn more my real name av i think i remember you i don't know i think were you I know Advi, some some someone named Advi from like a long ass time ago, like last year. I don't know if you're the same person. Yo, uh, Seven Mood, Elf Nan, Hamood, how are you, man? Aiden, how's it going? Yeah, like yo, I'm. I've been wanting to update this for so long. So hopefully, I can get a lot done today. I'm gonna try my best to look at the chat as well as also, you know, um, you know, fix fix us up. Another thing I want to mention this also. One thing that I just thought about like a couple hours ago before I was working on this was I want to make it so that it supports yarn because I've been using yarn for all my projects. Some of my videos I use yarn too, right? And yarn is just so much faster. So I'm adding support for yarn. If you don't have yarn, uh, you'll still be able to use NPM. Like what it'll do right now, I'll actually show you a preview 
uh, let me just go ahead and do this yarn start and then you put in the commands instead of yarn start you would do slappy and then the name so i'll do let's say new and then project one so now you'll just select the language whatever you want use arrow keys and then now you can select either yarn or npm which is pretty cool i like that and you can type in your token and then you can type in your prefix and then all it'll do is it'll create this slap.json, which is more descriptive, okay? I'm thinking about getting rid of the .env file, because a lot of people don't really like .env files, so I might just use a JSON file, to be honest with you. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then there's the package.json file. So this will use, this will use, uh, this will use yarn. Now, I'm not sure why. Um... I'm not sure why there's no yarn.lock file, but I think maybe it's because I haven't installed a dependency. So that's actually what I was working on right now. Uh, add v. Oh, that's you. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen you for so long, man. Like, I know you were active along, like last year with, uh, with hype and Dawes. You, you, you three were like the most active people last year. So it's glad seeing you here. I think I saw you post like some time ago, like a few months ago, but that was pretty much it. Make, just make options for everything Kappa. Yeah. But I, I mean, I think I'm in the middle of working on... So the next part that I'm working on is installing Discord JS, so the dependency. So I think you guys... I'll show you guys how that works. So right now you can see it says initialize. I'm going to go through a lot of things, but pretty much, like, if you look at the current code, like, this is the original code. Like, okay, a little backstory. I wrote this entire package in, like, two hours. I literally couldn't sleep one night. And so I was like, you know, let me just write this. And so I did, and that's why everything looks, like, looks so bad because i just rushed everything you know i mean it works fine but uh it just looks ugly there's no like look at this it just looks ridiculously ugly but i mean hey look when it comes to project generators um realistically it's just a lot of steps yo aiden thank you so much for joining as a developer man i really appreciate it dude thank you i really appreciate it but yeah thank you so much man appreciate it but hopefully this project itself like, the rewrite won't be so bad. I'm on a new branch right now, so I'm not messing around with master, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I also had to disable my ESLint because I'm using Prettier, and I haven't used ESLint for so long, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's been, it's been a while since I've used ESLint. Anyway, so, all right, so what I need to do is, let's see, so initialize the PM. All right, so we're going to do this. And what we want to do next is after we initialize NPM, we want to install the dependencies. So I think after, before, instead of doing this exec sync, we'll do return install. Oh, this stuff is install dependencies. Okay, we'll do the same right over here for yarn. Okay, so I'll just call this method over here. And what it'll do is it'll just install everything that we need. Uh, so for example, we need to install discord JS. So I'm looking at my old code a lot and you can see that's just like a cluster. It's just like It's just terrible like so many things that's going on, but it's okay You know, hopefully I can get most of this stuff done today because I really just want to get it done But if we don't it'll be fine. So I need to look at scaffold like a lot a lot of old broken a lot of old code That just looks so bad, but we'll fix it today. Don't worry. It'll look a lot better once we're done. Okay, so you can see all the steps that we're doing. We're installing Discord JS right over here, installing .env, and then we're creating the source folder. So again, I said I might get rid of .env. We'll see what happens. Okay, and then after we get after we install .env, we create the env file. We get the templates. Uh, I think all of that might honestly just be abstracted to the uh, JSON file, but we'll we'll see what happens. But okay, so. We're going to go ahead and just do, let's see what I want to do here in this exec sync. Uh, this is synchronous, so that's, so this is fine. So we'll just do this.install discord.js. Uh, let's see what's going on. You know, it requires the prefix, so yeah, let's do that. I think actually, you know what, let me do this. I have it, so I don't have to keep redeclaring it over and over again. I think that'll be I think that'll be better. So what I'll do right over here is this dot prefix. So it'll either be either npm i or yarn add. 
Uh, I gotta go now. I'm gonna look at up since I'm on holiday trip. Alright, man. Take it easy, man. Travel safe. I moved mainly to Linux yesterday. I'm using KDE Neon, which is super nice. You know, I actually took my old computer. And I, uh... I took my old computer and I... I actually wiped everything out and I installed Linux on it. Ubuntu. Because I'm basic. And I really like it. I really like it. I really like it. Using Ubuntu compared to using Ubuntu on like an actual like a like a real Ubuntu like you know like an actual installed version of it compared to a VM is so much different. Uh, yo, hopes, what's up, man? How are you? It's been a while. The last time I streamed was like what nine days ago. A lot of you guys were here, which which was pretty awesome to see. But yeah, it's been it's been some time. Hope you're doing well, man. I just I just thought I'd just randomly stream. I'm a spontaneous person. Uh, let's go right here. Yarn one two three one two three. All right, let's see what happens. So app one. All right, so you can see that it is installing Discord JS, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. You can see that's installing Discord JS. All right, we need to add some logging, so we'll do that. Uh, and it does have the yarn lock. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. So, so far we're we're doing pretty well. It's it's working pretty well. Again, this is just a rewrite. We're not really going to be. We're kind of just recycling a lot of old legacy code. So I think this will be a lot better. I think you guys will like it. Performance is much better from going to VM. Yeah, it definitely is. Look, I'm tired of Windows, man. Windows is so annoying. Like every single time. They always ask me to update my shit. And I don't manual update it. It'll just like auto update for me. And it'll, it'll just install some stupid software like Microsoft Edge. Uh, yeah, can you make it use Yarn? Actually, yeah, that's one of the new features. It's going to use Yarn. So now you can actually choose whether or not you want to use Yarn or NPM. So watch this. So if you want to do TypeScript, JavaScript, Yarn, NPM, choose one of those two. So it's pretty awesome. Uh... Yeah, quick little check in about to be 4 a.m. here. 4 a.m. Oh, you're oh yeah, you're in West Coast, damn. Alright, have a good night, man. Get some sleep. Do you have some sort of plan for this? Maybe a trail board? You know what? I actually don't have a trail board for this project. But when I was gone from making YouTube videos and streaming, I actually was working on a side project. And I still am working on a side project on my free time. Um and I actually started using Trello a lot more. Before I, I knew what Trello was, I never really used it too much, but I started using it a lot more and I'm I'm planning my projects a lot more thoroughly now. I have this habit, which is a pretty bad habit in my opinion, where I whenever I'm working on a project, I go straight into it and I get the prototype done and once everything is satisfied, I'll then start to refactor everything. Like I'll start writing the test cases, I'll start writing I'll start cleaning everything up, making things look better, you know, adding, you know, tools it's it's a that's pretty i wouldn't recommend it you know but I, it's a good way for me to just get things just going so i can like get the prototype done instead of having to go through the whole opinionated structure of just uh, just the setting everything up which is i find very annoying i mean obviously if you're working for a company they're gonna have you set everything up properly which is a different story obviously but i think it's okay if you're you know doing a side project but if you're working with other people though you definitely want to go through a proper structure i think sometimes you can cut yourself some slack if you're working on just a side project but long term if you are using it for if you're going to release it you know then definitely maintain maintenance it will be good for maintenance what's a trello board it's basically a kanban style board i think i pronounced that right where, where you can basically create notes for yourself and you can keep track of your progress of your projects so it's it's, it's i would just recommend using it if you like keeping everything organized side project that to me i'll start side project concern yeah i feel you this this current side project i'm working on right now is something that i'm working on for fun with my friend and i've, I've been taking my time with it which is good because i don't like rushing things and when I when I was when I rushed my side projects, I kind of just abandoned it the next day. This one I've been working on for about two months now, so it's pretty awesome. I can't really tell you guys about it though, but maybe I'll tell you guys about it some some other time. But it's awesome though. All right, so we installed Discord JS. Uh, let's see. I want to do one more thing. I want to see if I can actually execute all of these tasks in parallel because it's likely going to actually. I don't. I don't know if that will be a good idea. Just executing like all these the all these installations parallel. I don't know if that'll be a good idea. Um, but 
Uh, you know what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone. I should ask. I should. Add, I'll add logging later. We'll worry about that later. Okay. So we need to let the package manager do its thing. So this is where we're gonna install all the packages, but because there's also a chance that they will use TypeScript. So if they in, if they want to use TypeScript, we're gonna need to install TypeScript. Uh, we'll need to install TypeScript and a bunch of other things. So we'll worry about that later. But once we're, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about the JavaScript part first, okay? That'll be the easiest case. And then we'll worry about the, the, all the TypeScript stuff. Uh, let's see, hey Anson, how do you, how do you have an ad bot callback with your React dashboard? What do you mean? Ad bot callback. Anyways, uh, let's see. So once we initialize, what do I want to do next? I need to, oh, I need to create the source folder. Okay. Let's do that. So we're going to do that in file system. Okay. So I'm going to go here, uh, here. I'm almost using decorators, which is something that I I don't really know too much about decorators, but I thought I would just try to use some decorators in this project because, you know, just decorate. It's always good to learn new things. And I'm also taking advantage of interfaces. So let's see what I want to do. Um, I want to be able to create, uh, let's see, source directory. And this will just be called source. It's not going to really return anything. I'll just do that. I mean, I could return the path to it, so it'll be fine. So once you've added the bot to a server, you'll call back the service dashboard page. Uh, I honestly have no idea. I haven't worked in it for a while, so I can't really answer you. What is promise void? Is that some sort of type? Promise void? Well, promise is just the regular JavaScript promise. It's just a return type. So basically, it's a promise that returns basically nothing, in a sense. Uh, yo, what's up, stupid Basmar? How are you? How are you, man? How's it going? How's it going? Create source. Maybe there's a better name to call this create main directory, create source directory. Who cares? Like, null? Yeah, well, void typically just means that it doesn't return anything. So, that's really it. Because really, there's nothing that we really need to return, to be honest with you. I mean, I could return the path name, the file path name, but I don't really need to do that. But I'll do it anyways. So... Okay, so const file path equals path dot join. So let's see, we're using process dot current working directory. So this will give you the current working directory where they executed the command. So it's very important to use process dot cwd instead of underscore underscore dir name whenever you're building tools like this, because dir name will give you the directory name of where the code lives. But you want the code you you want the code to be generated where the user you know, executed the, the command, which is very important. Uh, Where's my VS Code theme? So I actually am using Nord Wave right now. And for the, I, I actually got a new icon theme recently. I actually really like this icon theme. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Uh, let's see, icon. I think it's material theme icons. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. It's one of these two. It's one of, I think actually, I th actually, I think it's this one. This one, I, I actually really like this one a lot more to be honest with you. So yeah. GitHub repo integration. What do, what do you mean by that? GitHub repo integration to Slap. What do you mean by that? Slap is a generated gener project generator tool for Discord bots, Discord JS. I, some people have asked for Python. That will probably come soon. I haven't worked on this for so long, but I don't want to make empty promises. It might come soon. Just you guys will just have to wait. Uh, let's see, name and then source. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see. I think I should create. I should create an instantiating inst instantiating uh, thing. But I'll just put pass in the name. Who cares? We'll leave that alone for now. And then we'll do await oh, fs dot mcdir file path. So I'll create the source folder and then we'll return the file path in case we need it. And we'll also assert the type. That's the theme I use. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome theme. What's going on over here? Uh, string. What's going on over here? Promise string. Did I have a uh, promise string? Oh, I've been using TypeScript a lot more lately, and I really like TypeScript a lot. I don't think I'll ever go back to JavaScript ever again. I really just don't think I'll ever go back to JavaScript ever again. You would have an option to make a GIP folder, which means that if they select a Slack project, the button is already installed. 
Do you mean initialize the directory as a git as a git uh git project? Do you, is that what you mean? Yeah, it would have an option to make a GitHub folder, which means if they select their GitHub project as repo. Uh, I mean, that is possible. That is possible. It would require a lot more work, but I wouldn't mind. That seems like a fun idea. Like, hey, look, like, I want to, like, I hope, like, okay. So, originally, this project itself, I just kind of made it in a day, and I didn't really care too much about it, to be honest with you. But I'm actually going to put more work into this now, which is why I'm, you know, updating this. I want to make it more modular and more easier for people if they want to make... A pull request they can so you know once i'm done with this if you guys want to you know make pull requests and you, if you guys have any you know good ideas you you know you can clone the repository or fork and then you know write a feature and then i'll look it over so yeah i think i think that'd be a good idea can you write css and js uh not necessarily but you, there are ways you can inject it yo what's up nick how are you how's it going would I, what do you use to test run TS? What do you mean by test run? Do you mean like writing unit tests or, or like just running the TypeScript file itself? Just want to make sure I understand what you mean. Okay. So let's go ahead and create, uh, this dot file system dot create source directory. And then we'll pass in the name of the project. So I'll create the source directory. So we're done with that. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, so next step, this is where it creates the env file. Let me see the env template. So it does this right over here. Um, I think that self should be okay though. Again, I don't want to really install .env because I don't think a lot of people like using it. And there was also a lot of issues with .env too. If you have environment variables on your system that are set, it'll override the current ones. I made sure I actually set it to discord bot token. Uh, just as node, yeah, I use Nodemon. Yo, what's up, Notifies? How are you, man? Uh, let's see. Someone says, I think Tolus meant that when you add the bot to the server, it instantly updates to the dashboard. Here, I made the video, but just check the playlist. Uh, I don't think I actually did. Um, you, oh, I remember. You need to use a WebSocket for that. You should look into WebSockets if you want to do that. There's been a lot going on in my mind. I've been thinking about doing another dashboard series, but this I'm in Python. I've been wanting to do more Python. I'm actually working on a Django project right now. Um, so maybe in the future, I'll do more Django stuff. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I've got a lot. Of, I've got a lot of stuff planned for next year. So, but I'm definitely, uh, I definitely do miss streaming though. I really miss streaming. It was really fun streaming. Like, you know, every single day after, uh, after work, it's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, create the big file. All right, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna omit the env file, and I'm gonna just go straight to um, creating the main file. So this create main file. This is where it, it'll create the index or the bot.js file. I'm gonna rename it from bot to index.js or ts. Um, and the create main file it needs the template. I think right. It should have a template. It should have a template. Yep, data. I think data, yeah, data should be file main. Yeah, oh yeah, perfect. Right over here, get main file. And this is just a simple template. So if this is this is the uh, the index, and then this and then you have the uh, the TypeScript file. Perfect. Did you find it hard getting a junior role when you started? Um I'll say this, I applied to five hundred jobs and I finally got it after so it just really depends on your skill set the amount of jobs you apply for and uh yeah uh i'm doing good notifies thank you great man looking forward to see your content yeah awesome dude i'm glad you're looking forward to it i'm definitely going to stream more like i'm i haven't the last time i streamed was like what nine days ago so i'm streaming right now because i was just like you know what? it's a sunday might as well but I definitely want to get back into streaming, though. I really do miss streaming a lot. It was one of my favorite things to do, if I'm being honest with you. Hey, Hanson, how do you go to a specific line in VS Code? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm, I don't know. I don't really know shortcuts too well. If I'm being honest with you, I just use Vim for that. <laughs> just use Vim for that. Which is a lot more. I like using Vim sometimes, but I'm not using it right now. But personally, I like using Vim. It's pretty fun. Um... What does this function do? Oh, this added the scripts. Okay, we're gonna have to do that later. Wow. All right, so we're gonna have to create the main file. 
I think I'm going to also create another class too called template generator and it'll be responsible for generating templates. So we'll have to do that. Dad. I have so many files. It's so hard to keep track of everything. Template generator. Should I call it template generator or provider? Called generator. What was the title you say yourself as? A uh, full stack. I'm a full stack. Full stack, yeah. Just tried slash commands with Discord. Just got to work because it's plus. Are you going to continue to start integration series? Um, well, the base of it is done already. But I might I might continue it at some point. There's a Vim plugin for VS Code too. Yeah, I I I've, I actually have it installed, but it's disabled right now because sometimes I just don't feel comfortable using Vim, and sometimes I do. It's kind of like a uh, love hate relationship for me. But yeah, I've been. Uh, I don't know. Um, I actually looked into slash commands after someone told me about it, and um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Might make a video about it soon. Might make a video about it soon. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, template generator needs to create the uh, the main file. No, this will actually take care of generating templates. So we'll leave that class alone, but in the file system, we're going to, the file system is a class that is going to take care of creating files. That's literally all it is going to do. Okay, so async create, main, create entry file. And the entry file is going to need a couple things. If we look at the old code over here, scaffold, you can see that create main file took in three parameters. It's like in the language main and uh, language main and then, you know, let me see, look, let me look at the language, what was this? Yeah, so the language itself made it uh, create the extension, so that's good. And then the main itself is what gets you the template. Um, so I already have the templates already, so that's good. Let me see where this, yeah, this comes from template to okay, that's fine. So we don't need to rewrite any of the templates. Your prefix interfaces with I, yeah, I don't know what else to name it to be honest with you if you have a better name let me know i don't name all my interfaces with the prefix of i it depends on what the situation is um but i don't know i think there's a better name for it file system file system explorer or file system creator i don't know i could change it right now but it would have to be a really good name for me to change it to. I tested slash commands in my bot too using Discord. Just has some very awesome things. I was using webhooks with it. I was using webhooks with it. I know you can do it through the gateway. If you want a channel as an org, tell Discord and client. Blah, blah, blah. Which stack do you use as a full stack dev? I use. I mostly use Mern stack. I also use. So I use mostly Mern stack. Entry file. <sighs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let's see. All right, so this is going to need the file path. It's going to be a string. Uh, let's see. It's going to need the data. So the template, this is going to be a string as well. Ideally, actually, it will be any because there's really no proper structure to it but I can just leave it as a string since in reality it is going to end up being a string uh, and then the language will just be the extension I'll leave this as a string uh, let's see let's do a void for now hey Anton long time yo how's it going Umer hope you're doing well man so I'm very happy with it oh that's good yeah, hope you're doing well, man. It's been a while. Hope your progress has been good in terms of, you know, learning code and building projects and stuff. Really would like to know how's that, how that's been going for you. Okay. So this will take in three parameters. Just copy that right over here. Dude, I love the prettier extension so much. It's probably my favorite extension ever. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do here is if the language of the extension is TypeScript, then we'll do TS, obviously. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
Okay, so I think I, I think I could just do this uh, fs dot write file, and then we'll do path dot join. Um, we'll join the file path, and then source. I don't. I might not even need source because I actually returned it. Uh, I actually returned it. I think right over here, so I can just pass it back again. So we won't use source. We'll just join it with index index dot and then extension like that okay and then we just pass in the data so template and there you go see you ever go back to some old code and then you look at the way you wrote it right look at the way i wrote it here i could just do it like this now right instead of using this ternary operator all i need to do is just pass in the extension and just name this file index dot whatever the extension is so this extension actually i'm going to actually type annotate this i'm going to create a custom type and i gotta go over here export type uh file extension hopefully that there's no conflict with that we'll do we'll do js or ts what time are you, what theme are you using? I'm using Nord, Nord Wave. Hey Anson, how can you make a CLI in JS? Well, um, I haven't made a video on that yet, but it's not really as, I, I can't really explain it all in one go. I would just suggest you watching a video and it should explain everything. I think Brad Traversy has a video on it. Brad Traversy, check out his channel. He actually has a video about that. You should check it out. Are you going to be live stream on a daily basis? Um, no promises. I will try to live stream more often to kind of give, get back into the hang of it. Cause I did kind of take a random break and, um, I will try to go back into, go back to doing more of it. I've just been really busy with, you know, my personal side projects work and just like you know life in general but i will definitely like to stream more often though i definitely want to stream more often i really do miss streaming more often but i definitely do plan on it we'll see we'll see I've, i last time i streamed was like nine days ago before that the last time i streamed was like two months ago so it's a, it's uh you know it's a pretty good improvement you know not the best but it's a pretty good improvement all right so let's see I need. To, oh yeah, what was I gonna do? I was gonna go here. So tsjs. Type annotate that. Type annotate that. And there we go. So now we have extension. So now we know extension has to be either JS or TS. Unfortunately, there's no real way to check the type unless you specify a function to do that. But it's okay. So we're gonna need to get the templates. Um, so how do I want to get the templates? I mean, I could do that over here. I could probably just pass in the extension and then I could be like, okay, const template equals. And if we look at the old API, we can see that the template was retrieved like this. Get main file, get main file TS. There's two functions, get main file, get main file TS. If you look at it, that's the main file right there. Uh, so we will need to make some modifications to it to get the actual bot token. So we'll look at it later, but for now we'll compare language to JS. If it's JS, we'll get the main file. If it's not, we'll get TypeScript. So we'll do extension. If it's equal to JS, we will get the main file or we'll get main file TS. So this is just some old code that I wrote. So it's nice that I don't have to rewrite that over again, and over again, because that took a long time. All right. Why do you have a moderator role instead of a like creator or owner in your Discord server? Um, so I had like my own role before, but honestly, I don't really see a point in doing it because I already have the crown on my Discord server. So, I mean, there's really no point. And to be honest with you, I really don't see myself as so. Like, here's the thing, right? With the with the with our Discord server, we have like I think six. I think how many moderators we have? I think we have five moderators. Um, there's really no difference between myself and the other moderators when it comes to moderating the server. So, and plus, I don't really like having a lot of roles that don't really mean anything on the server. So it just made it easier for me to just give myself the moderator role. It doesn't really matter though. It's just, it doesn't really matter that much. All right, so let's get the source path. 
So remember this function is going to return the, the file path with source. And then what we'll do is we'll just, uh, we will just simply await this file system, uh, create entry file, and all we need to do is pass in the file path. And the extension, which is JS or TS. So that's going to be based on the language. I think, you know what I'll do? I'll pass in the language instead. Language. Language. And then we'll do extension will equal to if language is equal, equal to JavaScript. JS, TS. There we go. That'll be easier. What's good, Anson? It's been a while since I showed up to a stream. Yo, Radicals, how's it going, man? I kind of remember your name. I kind of don't. I pretty The name is, looks really familiar, though. I'm pretty sure I remember you. It's just been so long that... Yeah, I don't know. It's been so... I, I do recognize the name, though. I just don't fully 100% remember. I think maybe if you talk... I think, I think I do... Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yep, just call me Z. Yep, I remember now. Yeah, I knew your name looked really familiar. Yeah, don't worry, I, re I remember you. Yeah, not much going on, man. Just chilling, 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 chilling. You know, that's pretty much it. All right, so let's hope that this works. So it's gonna create. Yep, done. App to source index TS. Perfect. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. So it doesn't have dot env, so that's fine. And it, it's giving an error because we don't have these files. That's also okay as well. Same thing with this. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That is perfect. Don't worry. That is just that is just fine. So it's working exactly the way it is. Okay, that's great. That is perfect. Oh, rewrite. Yeah, man. It's it's a long, it's it's a needed rewrite. So what are you doing right now? Are you just adding random stuff? Uh, I'm actually rewriting the entire Slappy project. Um, I wasn't happy with the way I did it the first time and I've been wanting to rewrite it for a while. So I was like, you know, what? let me actually do it right now. Uh, Vladlin, how's it going, man? It's been a while since I have seen you on here. I think about nine days ago. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been some time. I will say it's been some time. It's been a while, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad everyone is here. Let's see. All right, so it's creating the entry file. That's perfect. I and mean, it has a template. Like, that's good. Let's look at the next set of stuff that we need to do. Um, let's see. Create source folder. Um, I think after that, we just need to generate a bunch of templates. And I think that's really it. I, I think that was really it. So generate templates. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is uh, yikes right there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Hopefully, you guys won't mind. It's going to be a little bit smaller. Think about it. I should rewrite some stuff too. Hey man, it's 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 not it's there's nothing wrong with wanting to go back to a project that you've written once before and refix some stuff. Everyone does at some point. Uh, Zach sucks. How are you, man? Welcome to the stream. It's been a while since I've seen you too. Oh cool. I was trying to stick through the whole stream, but maybe I may have to go to sleep soon since I pulled non later. Yeah, it's seven sixteen a.m. for me. Look, I'm gonna be on here for a really long time until I get really tired. So we'll see what happens. How do you hide the file in your Discord rich presence? Uh, just edit your settings, control comma, and type and search for Discord, and then it'll show you the settings that you can edit. I uh, can't find your ticket bot GitHub. It's on. It's on there. It's on there. Now I need to find my glasses. Yeah, it's pretty small, but I, I need space, man. Like I have like no space. Whoa. All right. Let's see. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to generate all the templates and generating the templates is going to be fairly easy. It's just going to be based off of the language. So you can see over here, we have two functions, generate TS and generate templates. Uh, so this should be fine. I'll probably let the template, the template generator take care of that. So um, the way that I write, the way that I'm writing everything is going to be so much better. Trust me, you're, look, you're going to look at the old code and then you're going to look at the new code. And you're gonna be like, wow, this new code is so much more better than the old code. I respect you. Space is always needed. Yeah, don't worry. I can I can get extra space by just minimizing that. So it's all good. All right. So let's see. 
someone criticized me for naming my interfaces with a prefix of i if you guys have a better name let me know and i'll uh, i'll rename it because i don't really like that either but if you guys have a better name let me know okay so what do we want to do is we need a we need a template generator and this template generator is going to be responsible for generating templates that's really all it is so if we look at uh where is it where do I have it? File system. Is it file system? Yeah, it's right over here. Okay. Okay, so you can see that we have a bunch of different things that we need to do. We need to do all of these things, right? So I think what I'll do instead is I'll just create a bunch of interfaces. Um, create utilities. This might honestly be so, like, saturated, in my opinion. Create... But I really hope it won't end up as bad as I think it will be. Or maybe I could do this. Initialize utilities. Generate utilities. Looking forward to new version. Um, it's really just going to work the same way with the exception of some new stuff like adding yarn to it. Um, I'm going to also fix up some scripts as well. And... If I have time today, I don't know. I don't know, like, cause I'll, I'll see what happens. Like, if I have some time today, I've been wanting to work on a website for this, like, provide like an official website with documentation and and steps and screenshots and whatnot. If I have time, maybe I'll work on that today. What kind of keyboard do I have? I have a Ducky One Too Many, and I don't really know if you have the answer to this, but are you eventually going to make a Discord JS V13 series? Uh, hey, listen, I'll make it. I'll make that when it comes out i don't do you know when it's going to come out has it came out yet i don't even know i didn't even i heard that they were going to make a discord js version 13 but i didn't actually think they were going to make it you know what i mean you know you know how people you know you know how people talk shit sometimes yeah this was this is one of those situations where i didn't actually think they were actually going to make it but they're serious about it like i saw the repository they're serious about it so do you do you know when it's going to come though that's the real question do you know when it's going to when it's going to happen Two to four months damn that's like so soon man like only one year and they're already releasing version 12 hey man look i'll i'll do i'll do i'll do another series again i don't mind i don't mind but i am a little bit do you know why they're updating it though do you know why it is very soon Yeah, I honestly don't know. I think maybe I think it's because of caching. I'm not sure. I really don't know. If I'm being honest with you, I really don't know. Hey Amen. I'll support. I'll, I'll support it though. I'll support it. I'll support it. Do you think people learning JS should get onto TS ASAP? I think you should focus on JavaScript first, and then worry about TypeScript. In my opinion, I will be honest with you. I came from, it depends on your background, I came from a Java background, and JavaScript kind of made me a worse developer, because I, with JavaScript, you, you kind of get, in my opinion, with JavaScript, if you learn JavaScript as your first language, I really think JavaScript is probably the worst language to learn for your first language as a beginner, because there's really no, like, okay, unless if you actually learn things, like, if you actually use, like, linter, that's fine, right, because they'll at least stack, like, check stuff for you but there's a lot of things that you can get away with in javascript that kind of just provide poor practice long term which is why i think it's horrible to learn js as your first language i would recommend python or java for a first language but if you're if if you're learning javascript i say just stick with that and then learn typescript later i think that's a good idea Instead of the i template judges name generator, I usually forgot which is not that bad. I usually, yeah, you know, you're right, you're right, generator. The only problem is that it just becomes the problem that I have with generator is that what if I need to name something else generator, you know, and I can't name it template generator, so I 
I don't know. I'll, I'll I have to look into more things. Can you make a TypeScript tutorial and explain the difference between them? I could at some point, but there's really not much of a difference to it, but I will at some point. I am actually uh, planning on that soon, so we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so general utilities is just going to, let's see. You know, I actually have an idea, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, we're gonna need to write a decorator. I'm also not that good with decorators. Like I just started looking into decorators, so I'm kind of I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Get but um, I'm using a design pattern called Singleton, which is pretty awesome. I like the Singleton design pattern. It's basically a way where you can have only one instance of a class. So instead of creating multiple instances of that specific class, you only ever have one instance at all times. It's a really good design pattern in my opinion. Very useful. Public static get template generator. So we'll do if there's no instance, if it's null, we will just create a new instance. And then we will return that instance. We'll just return template generator instance, just like that. So this function is going to return template generator. Uh, yeah, I use it for a database helper class. Hey, hello, Anton. Long time. Of course, I remember you, man. Of course, I remember you. How's it going, man? I haven't I haven't spoken to you for so long, but I hope you're doing well. Even in the game world, yeah, Singleton is a nice pattern. Singleton's a really nice pattern. I learned about Singleton when I was in college, but I never really used it. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna use Singleton in this project. I'm still working on, I'm still learning decorators. So there, I know there's probably a better way to do this, but I might need to rename like a lot of these things because I don't really like having it like get prompter. I would like it just to be prompter, but I already have the class named the prompter already. So I'll have to figure something out, but. It uh, shouldn't be too bad, but get template generator. Okay, so this decorator will pretty much just allow us to kind of just like inject it into it, so I don't have to do something like new package manager like that. So it'll be a lot. It'll be it'll, it'll kind of like save us some time, I guess. Um, but if you want to use slash commands, you can change harmony made demo. We just had slash in November. Cool. Something that'll. Dude, I have not looked at Deno for so long. I have not looked at Deno for so long. I literally just like used it for like a day and then I just kind of like dipped. Uh, let's see. Get template generator. Template generator. It's gone over here. Oh, yeah. TypeScript. I hate doing that. Like, I hate having this. Because ideally, like, you shouldn't be doing that. I mean, I could do something like undefined. And then I could just have to, but then I would have to check to see if it would give me that. Right? That's kind of thing I don't like about TypeScript sometimes is like, you can get away with so many things. When I was coding in C, like, a couple years ago, I had to make sure I was like, checking every single error, checking every single type, everything. Like I couldn't get away with anything. And in C, getting a seg fault in C compared to getting an error in JavaScript, I would rather get a, I would rather get an error in JavaScript than get a seg fault in C. That's how bad it is. But I know that this is always gonna be defined because we have our decorator, so that's okay. So template, genera template generator, uh, and we'll, Need to create the utilities first. As you can see, up. Yeah. I think you can omit that in the TS config. Om omit what exactly? Oh yeah, you could. I don't want to do that though. Like I could just like what like set strict to false, but I don't want to do that though. That defeats the whole purpose of TypeScript in my opinion. 
Uh, yeah, I use Re I use TypeScript with React. I don't even use, dude. I don't use JavaScript anymore. Like all my projects with React are all TypeScript now. I don't like learning a different Discord language. Freezing language is confusing me. Ever since I saw that, I've never seen no no mail. I do like how Deno is first class TypeScript though. Like I want to learn errors, but I tried learning it. it confused crap out of me. So I suck with Discord JS. It it can be a little bit confusing stepping into a different you know library. It can be confusing sometimes. I feel you on that. All right, let's see. So we need the file path. So file path. This be a string, and we'll need to kind of just go up here and do that. Okay, so how do I want to get this? Do I want to pass in the, the file with the source? I think I will. Yeah, I'll pass the source path. So that way I can just do this. I can just do... Uh, fs.mcdir so let's go ahead and import fs should i import fs or should i use file system because hold on wait a minute ah there we go i got it now this is where singleton comes in handy i just realized something look so what i'm basically saying is look i could import file system but why should i import file system because i already have a class called file system user that takes care of creating everything so why don't i just uh get the singleton instance of that so i can probably do something like get file system file system like that and then now i can just do something like file system and then i can just create a directory um i might i think i might make a i'm gonna make a dynamic uh I think I might make a dynamic uh, function. Maybe I won't. Have I tried Next.js? I have not tried Next.js. I've I've been wanting to learn Gatsby because I wanted to make a blog, but I, and I wanted to use a project with GraphQL. I like how Gatsby is GraphQL first, but I read a little bit about Gatsby and I understand the whole point of it, but I don't really see the difference between Gatsby and React just yet. So I'll probably just watch a video from Brad Travers and read some documentation a little bit more, and then I'll get then I'll get into Gatsby. But I, I've been really wanting to make a blog because I want to write some stuff with like coding and stuff, just for fun, you know, just for myself really. So I definitely want to. I'll probably use Gatsby for that. So how can I make this like a dynamic one? Dynamic. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Go to scaffolder. So we create the project directory and that returns the file path. So this will return the project name, right? Now, when we create the source directory, instead of passing in, ah, oh, I see, I see, join. Interesting. Anson, would you write Angular, React, and Vue? Uh, Angular, I will say Angular. Okay. I'm not going to say too much about Vue because I have rarely used Vue. And the last time I used Vue was like in 2018. So a lot probably has changed. But uh, Angular, I will say, ha needs a lot of work done because it's still ridiculously slow compared to React. Like one, one of my old projects... I know there was actually a new update, Angular 11, and I heard it was a lot faster, but Angular itself is so slow when it comes to building because, like, Angular is, like, huge. Like, it's a lot of stuff. Let me tell you this. I was trying to install a, an Angular project on my 1 gigabyte, 1 CPU digital ocean server, and my entire server wouldn't even, it wouldn't even install it because it ran out of RAM and CPU usage. It used, it was 100% CPU usage, and, like, it was, like, running out of RAM. I legit had to resize my server. I had to give it more RAM and give it more CPU, give it more CPU, virtual CPUs, just so that I can build my Angular project. That's how heavy Angular is. And I don't like that. I switched to React, and I've been using React for the past four or five months consistently. And I really don't think I'll ever switch to Angular ever again. Unless if I, you know, need to work for a company using Angular. But I would say Angular. I, I mean, look, I like Angular. I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll definitely give it an eight. 
because it has a lot of stuff that it comes with it. React, honestly, I like React a lot. Is it? Do I think it's better than Angular? Hard to say, because there's a lot of things that I like about React that's better than Angular. And there's a lot of things I like about Angular that's better than React. So it's really hard to say. I will say, I, I think it has its trade-offs. Gatsby delivers a static site generation for React. Next year, still a static site generation side. I see. I see. I'll have to look more into that. Slappy is a Discord bot, correct? It's not a Discord bot. It's a Discord bot generator. So it abstracts all of the stuff away from the user. And it handles everything underneath the hood for you. Um, let's see. So what I want to do is... Let's see. I could... Um, hmm. This file system. For now, I'm just going to do this. I'll refactor it later. I Ideally, I want to create just one function that just creates the directory every single time. And just pass in the file path. Am I doing this? Yeah, I'm doing this myself. Uh, but it's open source though. So once I'm done with it, if people want to create pull requests, they can. Uh, yo, what's up, Kyle Games? How are you, man? How's it going? Okay, let me let me do this real quick. Let me do something real quick. Why don't I do this? Let me create a generic. Why don't I do this? Why don't I do this? Instead of creating a new directory, a new function for every directory, I'll do this. Async create directory. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the file path. So that'll just be path.join current name. And we'll turn file path. Oh wait, whoops, turn name. And we'll create the directory based on the name. So instead of having to create this function multiple times, uh, what I can do is instead is I have one file called create directory and the name will be so the first time we pass and create directory that'll be the name of the overall project directory so if i call my project uh discord bot one that's the name of the file that's the name of the directory for the first time it's going to return file path uh it's going to I'll, I'll read the project path i'll call it project path so the project path is going to have the entire absolute path with the uh new uh project name appended to it and then we're gonna pass this to the manager, okay? The manager doesn't really do anything, it just initializes it. It just looks to where it needs to install everything. The second time, we need to create the source folder. This time, instead of passing a name, uh, we're gonna pass in... Yeah, because you can see right here, instead of passing anything, I'll just pass in source, just like that. So I'll create the source path, and now, if I want to create the utilities, all we need to do with the utilities is we just need to pass in the uh, we just need to pass in the util path. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. I go a little bit because also a strict. Is it false? Yeah. How'd you come up with the name Slappy? I don't know, man. I was just bored as hell, and I just didn't know of a better name so i just called it slappy i wanted to rename it though at some point i might rename it who knows looking for someone to help with the project uh, at the moment i'm currently just refactoring some stuff but once i'm done uh i'm, I'm once i'm done with it you guys can look at the code and you guys can fork it and you guys can make some pull requests and i can review it and if i like it uh i'll, I'll merge it so yeah definitely definitely uh it's an open source project so if anyone wants to you know, contribute to it, they, they can. But I'm right now just refactoring it, so there's not much that you guys can help. Unless, I'm, you guys can definitely help by giving me criticism on as I'm going. But 
In terms of like actually writing the code, you guys have to wait for the pull requests. Can they like make other selecting or just like language they can make music by? Uh, I'm gonna add that as a uh, as a recipe in the documentation. Don't worry. And when is the Python support release? I have no I have no clue. Uh, it'll, it'll it'll be done when I finish all this stuff first. Create directory source. Give me one sec, let me see. Source path, source directory. Okay. And then when we create the entry file, we pass the source path, good. When we create generate utilities, all we need to do is just pass in the path. And then we just do create directory. Um, Hold on, wait. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that that's right, that's right, because that's right. Because I don't have That's right, that's right. Cause I, I need to because I didn't return anything from the last one, so I need to actually create it here. So file path will do path. Join. Let me actually import path. All right, have a go in Zaraf. Take it easy, man. Nice seeing you here. There we go. So that'll create the utils directory. Perfect. Uh, what about making a support server and management of the bot? Do you mean you mean the you mean the? It's not a bot. It's a uh, it's a it's a framework. Not not a framework. It's a it's a tool. You mean do you mean tool? Not not a bot, but a tool. I could you know you know I didn't, I didn't. Here's the thing. Like when I when I originally made this, I actually didn't even think that this project would have really you know kicked off in my opinion. Like I thought maybe like two people would have used it. I looked at it the other day and I saw that like. I saw that there was like what it says used by 17 and there's like 68 stars and 17 forks i was like wow like that's a that's, that's a lot of people and i saw that there so I, I saw you know some people now you're good uh i, I just don't want to confuse people and, and confuse you because I, I just want to make it clear that it's not a bot it's just a project generator that will generate a project for you that you can use but I, someone actually linked me a video they were like yo someone's making a video about slapping i saw i was like wow that's actually crazy like you know someone's making a video about something that i made which is pretty cool and that's kind of what motivated me to come back to this project and you know update it because you know there's people using it and you know i want to make it i want to give them a nice experience with this so i never really necessarily found it necessary to make a discord server because if you want to get help with slap you can just ask on um the code ring server because i have a discord server it's the link is down below and people could ask over there but yeah it's it's nice to see that people are using slappy i'm really happy about that so you know hopefully people hopefully more people will use it once i'm uh done updating this hey dude just found you yesterday for your express tutorial save me on my bootcamp project now you appeared on my homepage this morning so i figured i would say thank you yo seppy live welcome to the stream and no problem i'm glad i'm glad uh I'm glad the Express tutorials are helping you out. If you want, I could DM you on Discord. I'm just making sure you're already with it. Um, I have my DMs disabled at the moment, but if you want, you can uh, you can uh, ping me on Discord. Finally, it's getting an update. I have manually added stuff. Yeah, it's been a while. How are you supposed to pronounce your server? Code ring, code ring, code ring, code ring. Two words, two words, two words. Yeah, two words. All right. So this should create the util utils folder, which is good. And then from here, we will create a bunch of other stuff. So for example, const. We needed to create the... Uh, we need to create the uh, structures folder. Yep. Uh, 
let's see. Okay, I think it would be okay. Uh, yeah, so super sorry with it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about support server, but I'll probably make a channel. I'll make maybe I'll make a channel on uh, on our on our current Discord server, so people can use it. Because I know a lot of people do. I have been seeing a lot of people asking questions about it, and a lot of times they don't know where to ask. So I'm gonna make the channel right now. All right, I just made the channel on on uh, I just made the channel on Discord. So you guys can use it. I'm gonna try to make plugin support stuff for the Slappy package next week. How's that sound? Uh, sounds good actually. Um, no, another thing that I have in mind is I wanna I wanna make this more modular so that it makes it easier for people to write plugins and packages. But yeah, that does sound like a good idea. Like, for example, you can write a plugin for SQLize or, or MongoDB or, you know. Yeah. All right, so this should create the structures path. Uh, all right. Actually, I need to change something real quick. I think I'm just going to do this because I won't really need... There we go. Alright, perfect. Alright, so this will create two paths. All right, let's actually try this out. Hopefully it'll work. I do need to write test cases for this though. Uh, I'm gonna try to make, uh, it's just a raw idea, but we could work it out. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure, for sure. Huh, interesting. Uh, what's going on over here? Decorators, let's see, it's complaining right over here. So it seems like it won't let me it won't let me do this for some reason. I wonder why. Get file system. Do I have it twice? Is that is is it is not gonna let me because I have it twice? That's weird. I think that might be the reason why, which is gonna suck. Though I feel like it should have given me build errors though. Try this out. All right, so it seems like it's complaining about that decorator. So honestly, I don't think it's really the best way to do decorators, in my opinion, because we have to target. Um, I think the problem right now is the decorator only has only works for one, so it's gonna kind of suck. I may honestly just get rid of the decorator though. Yeah, I think maybe something's definitely going going on over here that I'm not sure about. Is this new Sabi going to be in a better format than the last one, like when creating a command, for example? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, if you what what exactly about the format did you think was uh was off? I can look into it. I'm mostly just fixing the project structure, though. That's that's really it. Like, at 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 the surface level, it's gonna really work the same way. But it's gonna add. It's gonna be. It's gonna provide feature. It's gonna provide yarn, though. So it's gonna be faster. Discord bot type composition when I have no idea. 
soon TM. Okay. Um, I don't know why it won't let me use the decorator. It kind of sucks because I would like to, I would like to have it. Um, I guess I got to learn more about decorators, but it's fine for the time being. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll learn more about decorators later and then, and then, uh, figure it out later for the time being, we will leave that alone. I don't like this though. It looks really ugly. The decorators makes it look so much more better in my opinion, but, uh, I'll figure it out at some point. I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. So. Okay, so TypeScript, yarn, one, one. Uh, let's see what's going on. It's going over here. So it didn't create the source folder for some reason. That's, uh, that's not good. Well, uh, let's see what's going on. So create directory. Okay, that created. Let me add some logs. Creating file path. So that should create the file, the project path. Oh yeah, there we go. That's there's the path right over there. Okay. Uh, create the config that worked. Initialize. Uh, let's see. Because that it should have installed everything. Create directory source. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, I, I know. I know what happened. Um, we need to do this. We need to do this actually. The problem is that it's trying to create a folder in here instead of inside the main folder. So we need to fix that. That's fine. Const path join. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. Let me see what you guys are saying. Uh, when I set up mocks, what do you mean? What do you mean by mocks? What do you mean by mocks? Well, what specifically do you mean by mocks? Oh, excuse me. All right, this should fix it. Test mocks. I'm still not sure what you mean. That's not good. Oh, wait, hold on. We want to create a directory. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I see the problem now. Uh, I think what we need to do is create directory. Because this isn't this isn't taking the directory. This takes in. Yeah, I know. I know what the problem is. So this creates a directory by the name. So the first time it does it creates it by the name. And it joins it. But then here we're trying to join two things together, which is not good. So I think the way to do this is to have the name as well as source. Now create entry file. 
would join file path, which is let's see. Damn. Uh, give me one sec. I gotta figure this out. Project path. Okay, there we go. So project path and then All right, there we go. This should fix that. Have I worn contact before? Never. Uh, TD for slappy. Oh yeah, tests. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna add tests to it, like test cases to make it more, you know, robust. Okay, yeah, this is giving me a headache. All right, I'm just gonna do this. Screw this. I think this will be easier because I don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with this right now. So what we'll do is we'll create the project directory. So we create the project directory with a name and we'll return that. Okay. Uh, we'll create the source directory. Create source directory. That'll take in the name. So the name is what? Yeah, the, the project name. All right, there we go. And then this should return the source path. Source path with language. All right, this should work. This should work. They're really annoying. My eyes all red. It hurts like hell right now. That's supposed to happen. Yeah, I just wear glasses. I don't. I've never really uh, got context before. I just wear glasses. Regular glasses. Method not implemented. What's going on? Uh, let's see what's going on over here. Template generator. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, okay. Jerry utilities, okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna generate these two, uh, gonna generate these two. So you have the base path, and then we also have uh, base path. Okay, and then we're gonna go into file system and we'll just create them. So let's see. I think, yeah, I think here's where I can actually have, I can actually benefit from having directory. Because since I already have the path already, I'll just leave this here. Make there. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, so yeah, this will just create the directory and they'll just return a promise void. And that should do the trick, I think, hopefully should just create these two directories. Yep, perfect. And so we will do this. So let me do const 
these do these two actually need to happen uh one at a time because utils and then structures okay so let's do wait All right, let's test this out. Source utils structures. Yep, perfect. All right, perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right, what's next? After we generate those two things, we need to generate the registry, the registry file. So. Uh, to registry file, oh, if I remember correctly, what exactly is this file again? Yeah, there we go. It's this file. Don't I have one for types? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. Uh, well, it, well, right now it is just for Discord JS, but um, I mean, no one. I, I don't know if. Uh, let's see. I think there might be. I think someone actually wrote. Did someone write? I think someone made a PR for a Cairo one time. You can add it so that you can add feature for a Cairo. But that's another time though. Okay. So after we generate the utilities, uh, what we want to do is we want to get the registry file. So I'll do a generator. Generate. And this is just going to take care of generating the um, generating the uh, the registry.js or ts file. So here you can see we have two functions. We're not going to have two separate functions. Each function is going to check whether it's JS or ts. Um, so I think what I'll do actually, can you implement two interfaces in TypeScript? I don't think you can. Were you ever able to? Wait, can you actually do that? Hold on. Wow, you can actually do that. That's crazy. I remember you could, I just wasn't 100% sure. Okay, if that's the case, then what I'm gonna do is, let me actually do this real quick. My file system is so bad. Holy shit. I need to I need to fix this. I really need to fix this. Like look at all these files, man. I don't even know what's what. It's so bad. I'm going to have to rename this to something later. Um This it's like all over the place. I'm gonna do this. And this is why interfaces will be useful. You'll see in just a sec. Uh, if I go over to scaffolder, not scaffolder, uh, initialize. Yep, yeah, perfect, there we go. Uh, okay. Um, okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do, so right now you can see, you see how this package manager implements I package manager. So the reason why I have that is because I need in, I need the initialize function. But instead of just doing this, I'm going to do this instead. Can I actually? I had this void. There we go. Let's go over here. Uh, 
Uh, initializer and type package is not as handleable to the same property as base initializer. Oh, I see. It's not, it doesn't. It doesn't like that I have more arguments. You think it's the only one for Discord JS? I think there's a few more. I think someone made. I'm not sure. Oh no. Okay. Hey man, let's make let's make it more known. Let's make it more known. Okay. Um, okay. So instead of just having that. I'm going to have initializer. So what I'm going to have it do is I want every single, I want every single class to initialize, to, um, implement this method. The reason why is because, um, we're going to set some stuff real quick. I think what I'll do though is Hold on, scaffolder. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. And the scaffolder will have his own initialize. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, so honestly, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of these decorators. And I'm going to have to test this just to make sure it doesn't work. It, it works. And I might just change it to get instance instead of get whatever. God, my neck is hurting like crazy. All right, all right, there we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead. Let me do this real quick. Let me look at prompter again. So prompter doesn't need to implement initializer. At least I don't think it does. Yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. But file system should implement initializer so that way we can have the language already set. So we have to pass it in. Likewise for, but actually no, because we need the prompt. Yeah, that's right. We need the prompt. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I actually think... No, no, oh, wait. Hold on, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. When we call create project, uh, it'll get us everything that we need. And then we can call initialize. And we'll pass in config. There we go. So now inside here, what I can do is I can call every single, uh, I can call, for example, uh, manager or this stop manager initialize and I can pass in and I can pass in, uh, these two arguments. So the type as well as the uh, as well as the uh, what was it again? The file path. Yep. So let's see the file path. Uh, I think I did that over here actually. Um, actually, no, this is not going to work. This is not going to work the way I wanted to. I think maybe I will initialize the manager down here, but then I'm gonna need to implement. I need to, and then I'll need to initialize the template generator. The template generator is gonna need the um, yeah. The template generator is gonna need 
the language. The language. Oh, excuse me. Super tired. All right, so I'm probably just gonna go and do this. Man initialize the manager. Initialize the template generator, so. There we go. All right, so now I don't need to set the language over and over again. We know what the language is. So when I call it generate utilities, it will do all of this stuff, okay? And then it will do return this stuff generate. Registry. Now if I go ahead and do this dot language, it should just give us the language. TypeScript, perfect. Yep, works the way that I want it to work. Okay. We'll do the same for file system too. So with file system, we could initialize the language as well. Um, so we don't need to keep on, you know, passing the language over and over and over again. We'll have it once. Uh, what's up, Vishal, how are you? Uh, I don't, sorry. So now I don't need to, uh, so I just do this right over here. This dot file system dot initialize language. Leave this here. Actually, I'll just leave this here. Okay, we'll initialize everything. Okay, and then we'll create the config. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I'm doing good, thank you, thank you. All right, so now I don't need to pass in language anymore because I can just pretty much reference this dot language instead. So create entry file will not need. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Create entry file. What's interesting? All right, there we go. That should be fine. Okay, so I don't need the language anymore, it's the file path, source path, and that should just create the correct one. So let's try this out. So let's build this and let's run it again. Let's create a TypeScript one. All right, TypeScript, let's create a JavaScript one. Let's do npm at four. Yep, package.json, index.js. You can see the difference. Perfect. What Slappy Slappy is a project generator. I'm gonna send you, you know, I should, I'm gonna send you the link so you guys can, uh, so you guys can go ahead and look at it.
I hate I hate Windows sometimes because of this. It won't let me delete. It won't let me delete that. I need to put on some music. Not for you guys, but for myself, because I don't want to get copyrighted. It's unfortunate that that that's how it is sometimes. Okay, but it's creating everything that I need, which is perfect. Okay, so now inside, um, let's see. And you can see it has Discord chase roof here. And did it say, did it give the language? No, I forgot to check. All right, so generate registry. So we're going to need to get the registry file So, there we go. So, if the template is JavaScript, if the language is JavaScript, we'll get the registry file for JavaScript. Otherwise, we'll get it for TypeScript. So, that's what is going to happen over here. So we're gonna generate it by simply doing turn fs dot write file. Wait. We'll have to write the file. We'll create the we'll create it. Um write file. And we'll get the path. Uh, let's see. This will generate we're just really a path. So the registry file, if I remember correctly, goes inside um, utils. So we'll pass in utils path. Yep, that's right. So we'll pass in path. And now we'll have to go to file system. Careful, might break your enter key. Yeah, you're right, you're right. file all right there we go what languages do I know I know JavaScript slash TypeScript Java Python uh, Dart for mobile dev. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, those are my main four. There's really no point to learning a bunch of languages. Just learn like maybe the main. Just learn like JavaScript and Java, like the main and Python, and you'll 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 be fine. Depends on what you want to do, though. That's the real question. You don't have to learn every language. Just you know. Learn the one that you want to get a job in. Okay, so I think it should be fine. I really wish I could delete this file. There we go. So let's do JavaScript. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <sighs> 
Oh, wait. There we go. So now I can do this. Is Java becoming a dead language? No. Um, Radicals. All right, man. Yo, thank you so much for checking out the stream. I hope you have a good day, man. Are you planning to make a video on DJ sharding? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Uh, what am I doing? I am rewriting Slappy. I'm making it a lot better than what it was last time. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. What have you been up to? That's the real question. What are you doing? Don't worry about what I'm doing. What are you doing? <laughs> you have no idea? Well, you're watching my stream. There's a start. Oh, what the hell's going on with this? <sighs> Let's see what's going on with this. Oh, I passed in the wrong thing. Alright, there we go. That should work now. Your stream is chill zone. Yo, I appreciate it, man. Sometimes I think it's just boring just watching me doing this stuff. But hey, if you guys like it, then I'll keep doing it. As long as you guys like it. Alright, there we go. We got the registry file. That is perfect. That is perfect. I like it. What is Slappy? I'm going to send you a link, alright? Here. There's some... You can read about it. Check it out. Maybe you'll like it. Alright, so generate the registry file. That's good. Perfect. Alright, there we go. It'll generate the same code structure, yes, but it's a base. It's a basic structure that you can use to build projects, build your Discord bots faster, like new Discord bots. That is. That's the point of it. All right, so we got the registry files. Now we need the structures. So we need the base command. Oh yeah, the slappy code will be cleaner. You'll be able to, oh, so functionality wise, there's not really much gonna be changed. Um, I am gonna add some new features though. So for example, you can choose between yarn and NPM. Um, it's gonna get rid of .env, so you're gonna use config.json from now on. Um, I'm mostly just refactoring the code to make it look, to work much more better, much more faster. And I wanna provide more documentation and recipes so people can use it so the reason why is because a lot of people are having issues with .env 
and I'll let the I'll let the user take care of it if they want to. Um, I'll I'll leave some documentation on how to like switch between so people can it will be more friendly. But yeah, it's just .env was a lot more annoying for people, so I I'm just gonna get rid of it. What you think if I start learning Java? Can I get a job in the future? Make that a setting. Yeah, I, yeah. I just thought about that right now. You're right. Uh, yes, if you learn Java now, if you build some projects, you'll definitely be able to get a job in the future. Yeah, I'll, I'll make it a setting. I'll make it a setting. You're right. I'll do that. Have you tried Linux for coding? I have. Uh, I haven't really fully switched full fully to Linux. I will at some point. Why do I like Windows? Windows is just basic. You know, I'm a, I'm a basic person. I'm a basic guy. You know, I just like it. It's simple. It's just simple. But I will switch from Windows eventually, though. I think the structures path for this. What what do you mean, uh, Samville? What do you wait? wait what, what 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 did I say? And I forgot. Maybe an add database integration. Yeah, that's one of the things that I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna do it in the documentation though. Like. Okay, if you guys so if you guys think we're anywhere near done with what I want to get done with today, we're nowhere near done because I still I want to work on the website today if I have time. Hopefully I'll have time, but I want to work on the website today, and the website's going to basically uh, allow people to like view it as view documentation. It's going to be a nice website. I have I'll design it. Maybe I'll design it, but I won't build it today. I'll probably build it later this week. We'll see. I want to I want to build a website for Slappy. I don't know why it's I think it'll be fun. So it'll kind of be like, you know, you know how like frameworks have like websites, for example, like just the testing framework has its own website. I think it'll be a nice way for people to it's kind of like a marketing website, you know, like you get to go on the website, you see that. Oh, shit, it's official. Yeah, like discordjs.org. It'll have like a bunch of things. So. Yeah, maybe I'll make it today. I'm not sure. I think maybe if I make it though, I'll probably use Gatsby because it's it's gonna be it's literally gonna be a static website. There's no dy there's th there's gonna be no like you know, it's gonna be, there's gonna be no like you know dynamic data at all. It's literally just gonna be static stuff. So I don't know. I don't even think I need to use React or Gatsby to be honest with you, but I'll use it anyways just for fun. Yeah. Structures. And we need to get the template.
There we go. So that should create the base command. Is it bad if I don't close the database connection with the query? Uh, I think you just. I think you should be able to just leave it on. I don't think you need to close it until you close your application. With the WSL updates, yeah, that is true. What do you think about working on Discord? What do you mean working on Discord? Like working for Discord, you mean? Like on the client? Is that what you mean? All right, so you have the base command. We have the base events. I'm actually going to update base command base event, I think. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things I need to... I need to, I, I just, I just realized there's a lot of things I need to fix. Like the aliases, I'm going to add documentation, documentation for that. Do I contribute to open source? Not really. Uh, I mean, sometimes I'll look through GitHub repositories and that's about, I don't really, I don't really actively contribute that much. I don't have time cause I have work. So I wish I, I wish I had the time to do that though. When, okay, here's the thing. When Deno came out, I really wanted to actually contribute to open source because it would have been a perfect time to make a bunch of libraries, but I literally got consumed with work, consumed from work. So I legit just did not have any time. It kind of sucks, but I like open source because it kind of forces you to look at the code and see how things are done. And you can learn a thing or two from it, you know? All right, so we just covered events. So now what we need to do is we need to make a directory for the source. So uh, let's see. Okay, so what we need is we need to, let's see. There we go. All right, so generate commands. Uh, events path as well. Path to join. Oh, whoops, sorry, that's source path. Whoops. Uh, yeah, you're right. I learned a lot from looking at this code. That's true. What's my job position? I'm a full stack dev. How can I learn TypeScript? Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there. You can try Brad Traversy or Net Ninja. Those are two that I would recommend. Yeah, that is true. Open source, you can look at the code and see what people are doing. So they don't like, you know, put some virus in there, which is good. Okay, so what I need to do next is I need to create all of these. So we haven't created the commands folder yet, so we'll need to do that. Uh, so to do that, uh, okay, so we have the path. So all we need to do is just do this. Uh, All right, so we create the directory. I think maybe I should create all the directories first before I actually, yeah, I think I should do that instead. So, oh wait, the stuff file system, create directory. Yeah, I think that'll be better. And you know what? I'll actually do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
generate directory, so we'll need utils path. I think what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll do that. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll do this. So that way we have all of our folders generated already, so we don't have to worry about it later. So const Do you have to code Slappy daily? Uh, I don't have to code it daily, but I mean, I could maintain it daily. If that's what you mean. I could do that. All right, so we have that generator. So I don't need to create down here because I've already created already. Create directory. Yeah, that should be fine. Source path commands. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. So now I can just generate the commands. But software usually needs to be maintained regularly. If it doesn't get maintained, people find bugs or vulnerabilities and it's bad. So, all right. So now that we've generated the things, uh, we're going to need to generate another command. Yeah, I'll need to generate another folder. Commands path test. So this is gonna be for the test command. So we'll wait this the file system. And we'll return test path as well. So I created, how many directories did I create? One, two, three, four, five. Utils struct. Okay, there we go. I don't think I need to return source path. Okay, yeah, I don't think I need to return that. Okay, test path. Um, Okay, so create directory test path. We're also going to need to create a directory for um, ready and message events. Lots of stuff. All right, take it easy, Vishal. Have a good one, man. The call on the right, yeah, it looks so much cleaner. Like, this is so freaking ugly, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's so ugly. Look, you look at the code later, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Like, when I when I wrote the original one, it was... I, I, didn't, I didn't think too much about it. I just wrote it, that's it. Just wanted to get it done, you know? Not the best solution, but, you know... Hey, it got it working, you know? So, all right, so this is where we're gonna generate the commands. So this will just be only one command, really. So the file path, we'll have to pass that in later. Or that's not really the file path. I should really call it directory path, but a directory is still considered a file. So um, so we'll need, we won't need the commands path, we'll need the events path. We'll need actually if I need it, I'll return it later. But we'll really need test path. And message. We'll link those. And then what we'll do is we'll do await this.generates base command. We'll pass in test path because that's a test command. We'll go down over here. And we'll then do the same thing that we've been doing all along. Why most of good Discord bot created on Python or Java? I'm not sure. I think it's because they have better frameworks. Like Java has a pretty good framework. Like the, the framework is pretty good. It has really good command handling. Same thing with Python. That's my assumption. Discord JS is like, it doesn't really have a good framework. Like, I mean, there's a Cairo, but Commando isn't really that great in my opinion. Commando needs a lot more work.
Okay, so get base command. Get base command. TS. Okay. And then now all we do is we just simply say, hey, look. Create file. This is not base of anymore. This is a test command. All right, now let's generate events. We'll do the same thing. Wait, hold on. Generate commands. Okay, so this is going to be for the ready events. And I think I did another one for message. Uh, it's very verbose, but it doesn't suck. What ID can you recommend for Java? Uh, IntelliJ is good. IntelliJ is probably the best one for Java, in my opinion. You could use Visual Studio Code, but I don't really recommend it, though. I think Visual Studio Code actually sucks for Java, in my opinion. So I would just suggest using... Uh, I would suggest just using uh, IntelliJ. All right, so I'm gonna call this twice. Generate events. All right, so now what we gotta do is the same thing I've been doing here. I'm probably gonna have to encapsulate this. Get, uh, do I have a template? Base events. What was the template that I used for events? Ready? Oh, get ready events. Oh, wait, this is going to be a little bit tricky. And this is where I kind of low key let my spaghetti code come in. Actually, no, I'm going to keep it in a separate function. Generate ready events. Generate message events file path screen void. Hey, and I have a question about the Discord dashboard. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what to tell you. It works on Firefox, but it doesn't work on Chrome. That seems like a Chrome issue. I don't know what to tell you, man. I know sometimes I have issues with Chrome, to be honest with you. It's pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I, I really don't know what to tell you.
can you do a type scriptura at some point? At some point, yes. Alright, let's see. I gotta keep doing this redundant stuff over and over again, but that's fine. Now we do the same thing over here for message. All right, and now get rid of that. Get rid of that. So that should take care of all of that. Okay, now we are going to need to try catch everything later. So don't worry. All right. This will take care of TypeScript and JavaScript. So instead of having two functions, now we have all of them doing it individually. And it'll also be easier to test every single function too. Okay. Uh, create command file, create event file. These are going to be for other things. Uh, these are all other things too. Okay. Awesome. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. So I think that should really be it. Let's try this bad boy out and let's see what happens. So let's build. Make one function for all events with a lookup or something. Uh, what just happened here? I have no idea what just happened. Uh, no such file directory source source commands. Okay, so it's failing. It's failing somewhere. I know where it is. Okay, uh, so it's failing at, I think, commands. Let me see. I need to add some logging. All right, John, thank you so much for checking it out, man. Take it easy, bro. Uh, yo, what's up, the coder guru? How are you, man? How are you? Oh, yeah? That's awesome, dude. I'm glad you are. I'm gonna create a simple logger real quick. Call it a simple logger. Wanna be more, uh, Class name six surface. What I want to do, I want to log. I could use something like Winston, but I'll just do this real quick. Uh, try your mobile, it's good. Also, you slap the ice part to be like you, bro. Yo, thank you, man. I appreciate it.
Sure, send the link. Send the link on Discord. Uh, Samir, Joshi, how are you? All right. So if it's success, we will do. Oh, we also need symbols too. All right, let's try this out. Let's try out this logger. This logger will also be a singleton. Should be fine for a logger. All right, so let's see. All right, let's log some stuff real quick. This is so many paths. Uh, just, you know, if you want, you can ping me on, on Discord if you want. That would, that would be fine. My keyboard sounds good. I do like this keyboard, I'm not gonna lie. It's a ducky one too many. go uh, let's see If you're done with this and you push it to get up, I'll write some JS docs, sure. I'm gonna 
I'm hoping I can finish this today. No rush. Alright, let me write some logs. So, generate directories. Alright, so let's see. Now we just say Alright, and now what we do is create a utilities. And let's just watch this. Let's watch the magic happen. All right, because we have an error, but we need logging. It's going over here. I think I know why. I don't know why it was uh, looking for files outside. Let's fix that later. All right, so let's see. Okay, yeah, perfect. Our logger is working perfectly. So it threw an error after structures. So it's complaining about commands. So it's saying that this file has not been okay. So something's wrong with our commands. Uh, let's see. Something's wrong with our command. So it seems like let's see source commands. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see. Base path comes from over here. We'll debug this real quick. Ah, there we go. That makes sense. Source path. Yeah, there, there we go. That space path is the source path. So, um, seems like we don't need the source path then, which is good. I'm gonna rename this to source path. All right, there we go. Yeah. So we don't need the source path, which is good. Just passing. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so before we had an extra source path, which was adding up, that's fine. This should fix it now. All right, now this is gonna fail the build because it's looking for files over here. I don't know why it's doing that. Is there a way I can only have it for the source folder? Let me Google it. TypeScript tsconfig include. For some reason, my tsconfig doesn't have include or exclude. I don't know why though. It's so weird. I don't know why it doesn't have it. That's very weird. I don't know why it doesn't have the include. The 
now it's complaining about these two things though. A known compiler option include. It might be because I have a. I might have. Um, I know why. I think I might know why. It might be because my TypeScript version is. Uh, my TypeScript version might be. Earlier, I think. I'm not sure. Though I feel like it should just. I feel like it would just kind of just be there because I already have 4.0.5 and I also have 4.0.3 here. So I'm not really sure why that's the case. That's very weird. And I did I did make sure to reinstall node modules too. So there's no way it should, you know, not be the right one. App one. Oh. Well, no, the thing is, I don't, here's the thing, look, I don't, look, I want it to only compile source. That's the problem. I don't want it to compile lib. Well, I know, I know, yeah, I know it's trying to build lib, but I only want to build source, right? So the problem that I'm trying to figure out right now is how do I make it only so that it builds source, right? I know there's an option where you can, where you can include, but for some reason it's not letting me do it here though. I don't know why. I might consider trying out TS. You should, yeah. Uh, I want to face game with you typing without voice only face keep sound. Build target? I don't think is it build target? Yeah, the problem is that my, my TypeScript config doesn't seem to recognize it. You know, I think I might know why, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. It's, it's, it's fine. I'll worry about that later. Don't worry. Let's continue. Yeah, I felt that I was looking at the, I was looking at that. All right, perfect. Let's look at our project commands. Uh, all right, so there's that. That's the that's correct. I gotta fix that. What's going on over here? Wait, what's going on over here? Hold on. Oh, okay, it's abstract run. Okay. Now, why does this still say test command though? It should say base test command. All right. I need to fix that. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I must have generated the wrong one. Yeah, I, I, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But at least these work though. No. We need to generate the client file. We don't have the client file. Okay, but it's it's working though. That's that's good. That's good. All right, perfect. We're making lots of progress. Okay, now let me go into generate test command. Yeah, there we go. Get test command. There we go. It should be get test command ts. Now, is there a way I could possibly put like an argument here? Right. Let's see if it's if it's flag. Can I do that? No, I don't think that's, I don't know if that's even possible. All 
right. Let's try this again. Uh, let me update the log real quick. Let's get rid of uh, this. Hmm. Let me do one more thing. Let me do one more thing. Just for fun. Does this return anything? No. I'm gonna make it so that it returns the duration. I think if you subtract two dates, let me try something. Okay. Ten seconds. That's ten milliseconds. Okay, so we'll do start and then return. And then we'll just have to do for create directory. We'll do Uh, Acclimity, yo, what's up, man? How are you? How's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. So every time we create the directory, this should just give back. All right, so now I can go ahead and go here. Uh, yeah, I could. Uh, I'm doing good, Acclimate. Thank you. How do you align it to the right, though? I'm not sure how to do that.
This is pretty sophisticated, but... Alright, let's see if this works. Alright, let's see how this works now. Interesting, there's no way it took zero seconds. Did it, is, did it actually take zero seconds? There's no way. Unless it's just really that freaking fast. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way it's that fast. Oh, I forgot. I divided by a thousand. So it's like, yeah, this is, let me go back and. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I got milliseconds, no wonder. No, that's not what I want though. I don't want seconds. This is not this is not right, hold on. No, I got I got it. I got it. There we go. I've done something like this before, so I remember how it's done. Uh, yo, what's up, Jason? Joseph? How are you, man? Pimpek, how are you? Make a tutorial on how to do something similar to this. Yeah, I could. Wow, it's just really that fast. Like, I think that's pointless, to be honest. I'm gonna get rid of the time. I don't really need it. Instead, I'll just do, like, the total time. I think it's just useless. Did all that for nothing. Okay, but I do need to change this though, because I don't really like this. How did I learn JS? Uh, I learned it from W3 schools originally, and I watched some videos. And I also had programming knowledge already, so that there's also that. It's been a while since you streamed. I was excited when I first saw your American list. Oh, really? Well, I'm glad you're here right now, man. Yeah, it's been a while since I've streamed. I'm getting back into it slowly getting back into it slowly
Yo, what's up, Terror Spams? How are you? Nah, I remember you. It's one reason why I hate Visual Studio Code. Just delete the file already. Yeah, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well too. Of course, I remember you, man. It wasn't. It hasn't been that long. Where's base event though? What the hell? Must have forgot to generate that. Did I forget to call it base event? Oh, yeah, I forgot to generate it. Slide, but honestly, it me a lot of time waiting for Python update. Yeah, the Python will definitely come soon. All right, so we've generated all that already. So let's see what's next that we have to do. Oh, I forgot to create the client file. Well, I need to create. I forgot to create the the uh, the clients. If I remember correctly, let's see if I have a sample sloppy project. Because I honestly don't even remember uh, much of what I've done. Much of what this done does, to be honest. Just gonna double check. Hopefully, I have a sample project on my GitHub so I can reference. I've definitely used that at some point. <sighs> nah, that's right, I don't need it. Any pro yeah, we made a lot. It creates the project. So there's that. That's good.
we're making lots of progress. Okay. Um, now I just need to generate the... What did I call it again? Oh, wait, I forgot. I think for JavaScript, I didn't do the client. Let me actually check real quick. There we go. Yeah, I remember now. The JavaScript project didn't have a client. There was no point because it doesn't really make, there was really no point. That's why I prefer TypeScript though. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, this generate client will just be for TypeScript only. We'll do that last though. Buffer. All right, source client client .ts. Let me lowercase that. All right, so let me just test this right now. So this should create a client file. All right, and hopefully no errors. Client directory. Let's take a look. Client client. There we go. Everything looks good. Commands are good. Event is good. Uh, here we go. Perfect, perfect. 
And there we go. Only thing that's missing is .in, but we're getting we're gonna add that as an option, like you guys said. Well, we're gonna have to add a new template though for using .in, but it's fine. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll f I'm gonna figure something out. I'm gonna make I'm gonna figure out a way where because I know someone, I know uh, someone earlier said that they wanted to be able to write plugins. So I might make a way where it'll be easy to write plugins because I know one of you guys said that let .env be a setting. But what if someone wrote a plugin that allowed .env to be opted in? If that makes sense. So that way I don't have to write too much. I can let you guys write extra stuff that can just be, you know, plugged in. I think that'd be cool. Yo, what's up, Gull Sammy? How are you, man? How's it going? It's been a while, yeah? Hope you're doing well, man. Okay. Well, we're done with all this. The only thing that I need to do left, it seems like, is... Modify the packs.json file. Uh, let's see what's up TypeScript. Install TypeScript, TS Node. Actually, we don't need TS Node. We do need Types though. I am doing good. Thank you for asking. Hey, Glyer's still here. Still live, yeah. I think we're done with general utilities. So now we need to go back to package manager, but I should have done this earlier. Uh, let me do that real quick. Where's package manager? Actually, I have a better idea. Inside initialize.
think this should be better. So initialize file system. Perfect. Initialize. I'll make this async just for fun. And I'll make this async as well just for fun. Wait, did I not write up wait, why did I not Oh yeah, because these are these are private methods. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so let's see. File system initialized that it will do all this. And we just pass in the project path. Um, yeah, yeah. Might as well just make it look neat, you know. I don't like having just random awaits everywhere and stuff. Okay, so we initialize. Uh, I'm going to call this generator instead. Okay, so we initialize file system. Okay, that will give us the language config. It'll create the directory and the config. Okay, once we create the config and uh, once we create the directory and the config, we can then go uh, and generate. Uh, we can then initialize the generator, which all it does is it just sets the language. That's it. We don't need to do anything more. I can actually do this last. The manager is responsible for installing all dependencies. So right now it's installing npm or initialize npm or yarn. It installs Discord JS. We're gonna make it install .env if they want. So we're gonna to need to bring in the the prompt, um, and we're also gonna install Node uh, types. And I think that should be it. So once we're done with that, we can actually create the source directory. Uh, yeah, because we've installed all of our dependencies, we can create the source directory. We can create the entry file, and then we can create the utilities. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Let me go back to file system util create source directory. All right, that's fine. All right, let me just run this one more time. I'm gonna write some test cases later. TypeScript yarn. Okay, let's there. So let's try JavaScript now. Whoops. JavaScript with npm. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, wait! Oh yeah, I forgot to write the if case. It's still generating the TS file. Um, should I write? Should I write one for JavaScript? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. You see how right over here I don't have a client. Like right over here for TypeScript, I have this, but I don't have it for JavaScript though. I don't know. I don't remember why I didn't create one. I'll have to write a note so I can remember to fix that later. The world doesn't need JavaScript. <laughs> I can I can somewhat agree. Well, I mean, maybe there needs to be a better version of JavaScript. Because it's just so like, there's so many, you know, I don't know. Uh, Simtree, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Okay. So, where is it right over here? It should be right over here. 
Yeah, right over here. Okay. So we will only generate, uh, let's see. And then right over here, there we go. All right, so that will not generate the client .ts file. I love, do I love TypeScript, man? I fucking love TypeScript. All right, I think that's it. So we just got to go into Package Manager. And all we have to do is just install the rest of the dependencies. We're going to do that, obviously, we're going to do that first before we do anything else. So install dependencies, needs to install Discord.js. So this is async, so we can leave that alone. Private. All right, so what, what types do I need again? I don't even remember. Let's see, file system. And this only needs to happen if the language is TypeScript. Do I have language anywhere? No, I don't. All right, why don't I do this? Let's go into scaffolder. So in manager, we pass in manager. Uh, instead of passing the manager, why don't I pass in config instead? That way I get access to everything. So instead of type package manager, we'll do config, slappy config, config, and we'll do config, 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 and then this.config.type manager there we go well I can start type well on this clapped keyboard bro yeah I occasionally do swear sometimes I try not to okay so now what we do is we say if this dot config dot manager is equal not manager uh, language is equal to TypeScript. We then install types. So and install types is basically going to install a bunch of stuff. I'll show you in just a sec. Okay, so we're gonna to need to install types. That's for a fact, so let's do that. Wait, hold on, let me, wait. Uh, I'm good, Simtree, how are you, man? How are you? So this is, so first we need to install TypeScript.
Let's install TypeScript first. Let's install uh, types. Is there anything? Is there anything else that I'm missing? We can install Nodemon, I guess. Okay, there we go. So that's that's node bond. Is there anything else that we're missing? I'm probably not going to do this. I'm going to do something else, actually. I'm probably just going to initialize it using the TSC TC command. So here I'm going to use the same code that I have. Uh, basically, Yeah, so we'll pass in, I'm going to call this base path instead. And then we're going to pass that later into create config file path. Uh, I'm, I'm using a uh, Nord, Nord. Uh, yo, Toadless, thank you so much, man. Thank you, I really appreciate it for joining as a developer. That means a lot to me. That's fucking awesome, dude. Synth Wave 84. I think I've tried it before. Yeah, I know I know what theme you're talking about. I remember.
Thank you. Thank you, Tolus. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I'll try my best. LL, what's Slappy? Can someone explain in short? Uh, someone send them the link to Slappy. I'll send it. Here you go. It should speak for itself. All right, there you go. This should update the package like Jason with our scripts. And um, I'm probably going to add another script. Uh, let's see. JSON scripts. TSC equal. Uh, with this script, I'm just going to add a TSC script. Because I might need it later. npm run TSC TS config. That will be used for creating a TS config. Uh, Rasta Dizzy, how are you? On the readme, it says to use slap new command, but this one, I'll look into that. TSC is only for types code. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I'll have to do, uh, let's see. I'll worry about that later. Don't worry. I'll worry about that later. Uh, let's see what else. I'll probably put these scripts in like a different file so it doesn't look ugly like over here. Can you please tell me how to make a Discord music bot? Uh, I have some videos on my channel. Feel free to check those out. It should be, uh, it should give you a good idea how to start up. Okay. So we're going to have to, let's see, we're going to install this. Yes. Okay. So install types. Should we still install? I think we can install NodeMod even. Yeah, we'll install NodeMod even without TypeScript. Uh, create TS config. Um, okay, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and try something out. I tried making a project under like that, but didn't know how to do it. The CLI is easy, but creating the user project is what's something. Yeah, it can be a little bit tricky. All right, there we go. You, you saw it took a while, right? Because it was installing everything. Um, okay, let's see. Installs types, perfect. 14.14.14, wow. That's a lucky number right there, 14, 14, 14. You take half of that for each number, that's seven, seven, seven. That's a lucky number right there. Okay, so install NodeMon, TypeScript. Uh, let's look at our scripts. Uh, it didn't add the scripts. Oh, yeah, because I didn't call this method. Okay, that's fine. If you look over here, we have Nodemon right over here. Perfect. All right, awesome. So even if the user doesn't have Nodemon installed globally, it should still work if they run the NPM script. What package do you use for the Arrow CLI stuff? What Arrow? 
Are you talking about this? The check mark? That is a package called symbols, I think. Is that what it's called? Symbols? It's called symbols. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Log symbols. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, it's called prompts. 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 There you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so we have types. Okay, this is perfect. Now we just need to... Uh, let's see, what else we need to do next? We need to update the... We'll update the scripts. We can do that, I think, honestly. Um, I think we can do that, honestly, inside over here. I could just do these here, this full system update page, uh, base path. All right, let's try this one more time and let's make sure that it is going to show the, it's going to show the scripts. Creating a nice UI for a Discord dashboard is hard. You know, do you use Figma? You use Figma? You should try looking into Figma. It might help you mock up your UI first before you design it. It has helped me out a lot with building my user interfaces. Uh, yo, what's up, Sahan? Creeper, how are you, man? It's been a long time. been a long time what happened where I just love to get some food. Oh, well, we made some progress. It's working well right now, which is awesome. Uh, I got an error though. So it seems like it's giving us an issue with our scripts. It's not good. Let's see what happened. Yes, also watching the layout of you will help. Is this the emojis unit code? Uh, what do you mean? What monitor am I using? I use an Alienware 34, 34-inch Alienware, and I have an Asus 24-inch one. Uh, look, I'm not the greatest when it comes to UI, but I use Figma, and it really has helped me out a lot. Uh, it's called Log Symbols.
Yep, yep, yep. Uh, please don't error. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Okay, so we have it correctly, but can I set dev of undefined? Oh, you know what it is? Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's right. There we go, that should work now. Do I have a logger here? I'll, I'll bring in my logger later. How did you make the decorators? Uh, I'm not that great with them, but that's how it looks like right now. I know it's pretty garbage. I gotta actually take some time and spend time learning decorators. I feel like they'd be very powerful if you used them correctly. But I gotta learn them properly. I was just kind of messing around. I was actually reading Fireship's uh, post. Alright, no error, no error, no error. Yes, no error, perfect. Alright, and we have our scripts. Nodemon source bot.ts, perfect. That's just how I like it. Alright. You know what, maybe I'll do, I'll also add some test cases too, like some base test cases, because I want people to be able to, I want people to start testing their code. So maybe I'll add some unit tests. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, wow. We're nowhere near done yet. This is just generating the project. We still need to create the commands. Did I not sleep? Uh, well, I woke up early. My sleep schedule has been messed up for a while. So I actually slept at 9 p.m. and I woke up at 12 a.m. Because my sleep schedule was messed up. Usually I sleep at like 7 and wake up at either 2 or 3 or 4. But I've gotten comfortable with waking up between 2 to 4 a.m. So I'm okay with it. Will the new Slappy have unit testing? Uh, I'm thinking about it. There's a lot of things I'd like to have, right? But we'll worry about that later. But man, this, 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 uh, I really like this new structure of the product. I'm going to obviously move all these interfaces out into its own file. It's just, everything is so, everything is just so freaking ugly right now. Like, look at all of these files, man. Like, I need to move the questions into its own file as well. So we'll, f we'll fix it later. We'll fix it later, but... I'm trying to just get most of the stuff done and then I can start writing some test cases and then uh, let's see what else do I need to do I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything let's generate some more projects actually let's just do f5 let's do javascript let's do npm All right, perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just want to make sure I am not missing anything.
Okay, so let's go to scaffold real quick. So we already installed all of the dependencies for TypeScript, so that's okay. And you can see that in app 5, it doesn't have any of those dependencies. It only has node and mod, which is good. Uh, yeah, TypeScript, I love TypeScript, man. Alright, so we just need to make it so that if it throws an error, we'll just delete the directory. That's fine. And if the directory already exists, yep, that's fine. That's fine. But I think Node will throw an error regardless, so we it'd be nice if we checked it though. So that's okay. We'll we'll check it later. Wow. I like this so much. It's so cool. Alright, hopefully do I remember how to do I hopefully I remember how to publish packages because it's been a while since I have published an NPM package. Hopefully I remember. No, I, I I'm just kidding. I remember. Alright. I just can't wait to finish this whole thing so I can just delete everything because, bro, this is so ugly. Like, oh, what is this? What is this? Look at that. It's so bad. Oh, my God. I can't wait to get rid of all this garbage. Oh, my God. This looks so much better. All right. All right, all right. I'm gonna do this. All right, oh, I need to fix up the templates. Or do I? No, I don't, I don't. The templates are fine. I am going to do this. Uh, I'm on a different branch, so I'm just going to do a test commit for now. Um, holy shit, 230, 2,387 insertions. So many deletions. Okay. Um, that's, oh yeah, that's because we are ignoring everything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to delete this file because I'm not going to need this anymore. Uh, we have logger, file system constants. Okay. And now I can finally refactor all of these things because I don't need these anymore. And instead of constants, I'm going to go here and rename this utils. Gonna rename this as types. And the interfaces will go somewhere else. Is my mic muted? No, my mic's not muted. Scared me for a second. Don't scare me like that. Okay. So we have types. I'm gonna name that arguments instead. delete constants wait a minute uh, 
not be config. Wait, why don't I make this a type? Yeah, why don't I make that a type? Let's make that a type. Uh, this is this has to be an interface. Yeah, this has to be an interface. All right, initializer. I'm gonna actually create a barrel file in a sec. That will do it now. So instead of doing it from user slash types, we'll do it from this. You'll you'll see. Headphones dick. I think you're not using comments at all. Yeah, I don't really comment my code. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Realistically, um, a lot of people really don't comment their code anymore. I don't know why. I know I, I know at work we don't really comment our code, and I just really don't comment my code anymore. Uh, I feel like commenting code for open source is good though, so I will leave comments later. But if usually for side projects, I never comment my code. Mostly because I'm likely going to be the only person that will look at the code itself. Can I do something like this? Why does that not recognize it though? It's in the index.ts file. Really? Eat the barrel? I've never noticed that. I've never noticed that. I've never had that before. That's so weird. That is very weird. Okay, now my thing is just giving a bunch of errors for just for no reason. I don't know what the hell is going on with this. What in the world is going on? What what is I don't know what's going on. Bro, I don't know what the hell is going on. I know what I'm doing though. Visual Studio Code doesn't. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what the hell that was.
Yeah, I know it sucks. I'm trying to think of a good name for my interfaces. I'm not really that good with my names. Bro, why is this still, oh my God, what the hell is going on? Does it just want me to delete the whole file? All right, well, there we go, at least that fixed it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This is so crazy. I'm gonna close Visual Studio Code. Control space for auto completion. Control for code actions. Nice. Alright, I moved all that there. Now we just need our logger. There we go. Our loggers in check. We'll implement these later. Control dot to fix all missing imports. All right, there we go. I think we have finally cleaned up everything and it looks so much more better. Uh, I'll probably have to fix something with this. Nah, we'll leave that alone. I'll move that to questions though. All right, so much better, so much better. Utils. Uh, 
let's see. Why is it including this though? I don't want it to include that. Uh, let me give me one sec. Let me... Why do I not have excludo? I'm not sure why that won't work for me. Oh, wait, hold on. I know. There we go, that should work. Okay. I don't get why, hold on, oh wait, whoops. You've been live for a hot minute, man. Keep the grind. Thank you, man. It's subject to include. Uh, it's still. I don't want this to be compiled, though, but I don't want to delete it as well. So I don't know. Let's see. What could I do? Uh, I've tried that. Apparently, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm looking at my old. I'm looking at other. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't work. I've tried it earlier. It doesn't work. Oh. <sighs> I tried putting it, but for some reason it just doesn't want to work, which is sad. Yeah, I know. I've tried that already. I've told you it doesn't work for me. I don't know why, but I've tried that already. I tried that like in the very beginning. I'll try it again. It gave me an error that said unknown option. Yeah, see? I don't know why, but... Yeah. I mean, look, I have the... I feel like that shouldn't really matter though because I have a local version. It's still not. I, I think I might know what it is. Hold on. It's so annoying. I 
I think I might know what it is. Maybe my Visual Studio Code's TypeScript version is just being stupid. Um, I think I know what it is. Give me one sec. Yeah, that's the latest version. Oh, it's supposed to be outside? Oh, sh I actually forgot. Wow. I'm an idiot. I did it inside. I didn't- I literally thought this was like just a single- I, <laughs> I literally thought it was a single uh, object. I didn't know it was nested. Is a uh, that is a bro moment right there. That is definitely a bro moment right there. All right, watch this. You ready? I'm going to get mad errors. Because of my linter. My linter doesn't like that. I had to disable it because it was getting annoying earlier, but it gets in the way of prettier. It actually isn't even that bad. What's this? Yeah, I'm not doing that. You can go screw yourself, Eslint. Not sure why that's not formatting though. All right, everything else looks okay though. It's not in the world. Like I can, I can, I can deal with that. SQL tutorial when? I have no idea. Awesome. I ran through his other Discord bot tutorials. Yo, what's up, Andrew Carroll? How are you, man? Alright, I'm cheating. I disabled ESLint. Okay. Alright. Let me get rid of all this crap because I don't need this.
Coffee is life. Yeah, I need some coffee. Really. What time is it right now? It's ten twenty-eight. Damn. Okay. All right. So we're good with that. So let's see. There we go. All right, perfect. So there's a couple things that we need to do left. Uh, we need to add dot env as an option. Uh, we need to make it so that we actually use a JSON file for the token, so it reads the it re, it'll read the token from the JSON file as well as the prefix. Um, other than that, I really don't think there's anything else left to do aside from that, and then generating the uh, code. I mean, generating the command. It's really all there is to it, really. I go do some code review later. All right, have a go on man. Take it easy. So it's new and gen, so else. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I wasn't sure what you were gonna do, but hey, that's what's up. Okay, so if they do this, uh, let's see. Slappy gen data. So data is going to end up being either command or let me do some more types. Yeah, I'm gonna push my branch. I'm actually gonna write it. I'm gonna write it later. So they can do what slappy new app name and the slappy gen command or event. Okay, great. Or if they do just slappy gen. Wait, in the old slappy, I literally forgot. Yo, what's up, Kelvin? Is there a plan to have a web interface with the bot as well? Well, this is not a bot. This is just a tool to generate a bot project. That's it. Thank you, Nutella. Thank you, I appreciate it.
That's awesome. Slappy Jen event. Okay, well, if Arg's not like this too, then that means they definitely type something like either event or structure. Okay. Hands and can't check my sale as my first time to be honest and PM with the name JDS framework. Sure, I'll look at it later. I might become a patron if I got enough money. Thank you, man. You don't have to, but if you do, that's awesome. I would appreciate it. Or if you want, you can just join the channel for a dollar. Is it a dollar? It is a dollar, right? Yeah, it's a dollar. You can just join the channel for a dollar if you want. That would be um That'll be better than the patron. Because the patron's a little bit more money. Alright, check struct type. Alright, so now here what we will do is... Let's see. Um... I really don't like having such deep nested if else statements, if I'm being honest with you. But in this case, I think we kind of need it. Alright, so if this is valid... Got some error logs. Is Slappy getting this update after the stream? Uh, I don't think I'll actually finish this today. I'll probably. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll finish it today. I'll see. I'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, ever heard of Savelt? Yeah, I've heard of Savelt. I'm out of the loop. Why are you reading Slappy? Because the code base is shit. No, seriously, the code base is actually really terrible, and it needed. A, it definitely needs some updates. So that's why. Okay, check struct type. Um, if that's good, let's cast this to structure option. And what we can do from here is we can generate, oh boy, another if statement. That's not good. I don't like having, like, look, look at this if structure equals equals. I don't like having that. That's way too many if statements is there a way i can make this better like there has to be a way i don't like having such so many nested if else statements maybe i can just do this i think that's better <sighs> Actually, you know what? Well, I have a better idea. I have a better idea.
What's the best CI2 for Discord? create command this is where we will prompt them and this is where uh we need to actually check to see if they have the slappy dot the slappy file What is his return? How did I do it in the other one? Access to return true. Oh, yeah, so it threw an error actually. Yeah, so if you can access it, it'll return true, it won't throw an error. Okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, I think it should be fine. So when we're generating stuff, uh, you always need to make sure uh, you have a slappy file, so the, the slappy.json file. Otherwise, it's not going to work. That's the important thing. That's how we get the data about the language. That's how we get stuff about the environment, etc. So let's see. We'll take care then the. Yeah, we'll take care of that in the scaffolder. So what we'll do is we'll do this. Const dir equals file system get current dir. So this will give us the current directory we're in, but we need the project name as well. 
Well, no, no, no. You have to actually execute this from the current path. What's the what's Slappy? It's a CLI tool that you can use to generate a Discord project very quickly. So you can just go right into it and write the code. You don't have to worry about setting everything up. Feel free to check it out. Um, so when they execute this, we're assuming that they're inside the project uh, directory. Okay. So they need to actually be inside the project for it to work, for it to actually find the slap.json file. So that's why we have current dirt, which is good. Okay. Um, so if we're going to use this dir to find the slap.json file. So that's going to be what we're going to do. So const, uh, let's do path.json, path.join. So we'll do dir. Um, and then we'll do slappy.json. I really need to put this into a constant. Okay. And what we'll do is we will uh, hold on. We got to go back to file system. Okay. Uh, actually, I think I have a better idea actually. I'm going to just do this. Okay, I think I'll do this instead because I know it's going to throw an error if it's not found. Okay, so let's do this. Let's find this. So let's do. This should throw an error. This should throw an error. Should throw an error. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right. That's great. That's great. Okay. If your code base looks massive to me, I'm already scared of your coding level. Amen. Look, we all start from somewhere, right? I've been coding for some time, so at some point, maybe one day you'll get to this. But it's really not that, you know, sophisticated. But hey, you'll get there someday. Don't worry. TS has really taken over. I love TypeScript. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I have a better idea. I should really be throwing these errors. All right, let's try this again. We want to give a better, uh, all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave this temporarily. We want to give a better name though. The configuration is known to set for a TypeScript. I can feel that like when you first start off, it, ha it has been annoying, but just keep trying and then you'll get it. Okay, so if the slappy f file is found, that's good. That means we can actually generate stuff, okay? Awesome. Let 
Now, if I do this, slap that JSON, it's still not found, which is good. That's fine. That means we need to actually be inside the directory for it to work. Why do I use yarn over npm? Well, I found yarn to be a lot faster than npm. Like, for example, whenever I create a project with uh, npm with, in TypeScript with create react app, it takes like a whole minute with npm. With yarn, it takes like 20 seconds. That's interesting. Why would that not be caught down here? Oh, you know why? It's because... There we go. Alright, that's what I want. So if it's not found, then it will just uh, throw an error. Uh, yo, what's up, Aspic? How are you? Is that a wrapper over NodeFS? Yes, it is. Making bots is boring. I've gotten bored of bots at some point, yeah. Yarn is basically better, yeah. Yarn parallelizes uh, all the processes, so that's why it was, it's able to install it much faster. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I think... Can I test this in a way where, let's see. So now I see it into app one and Perfect. All right, it works. It works great. Yeah, it's throwing an error because we haven't implemented it, but it, it is calling it though, and it it would see. Look, it's able to find the slappy.json file, which is why it didn't throw that error, saying it couldn't find it. If I change the name of it though, watch what happens. There we go. Perfect. Maybe in the future I'll make it so that you can do something like you know how uh, Babel. If you guys are familiar with Babel. Yeah, you can do something like Babel RC or Webpack. You can do Webpack, something like that, or Jest.config. Maybe I'll make my own extension. That'll be fun. Imagine having my own extension. Dot slappy. 
CFG. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. And then maybe I can make a custom icon too. Imagine. No. We'll see. Alright, well that works. That's great. Alright, delete that. Let me just delete the lib folder as well. Alright, perfect. I have a project where I need to convert finished goods to raw their recipes each other. That's nice, sounds fun. Raw materials, finished goods. Sounds nice. Take over the boilerplate CLI world. I have started coding the project, but should I convert the items in the JS or SQL? Well, what do you mean by convert the items in JS or SQL? Because those are different things. Oh, I see. I think you would have to convert that in J JavaScript, though, because SQL is just a data layer. Like, you don't really do any conversion. Yeah, you do that in the in the, in the in JavaScript or whatever language you're using. SQL is just, it's just like a system of records. It just holds the data. That's it. You don't really do the conversion there. So it'd be there to do it in the language that you're implementing the app in. Okay, well, I can't believe I forgot my own code. But I, I'm trying to remember how I did the original Slappy app. Um, it seems like I did a category, so let me actually double check the old code again. All right, let's see. So, oh, okay. We prompted them for a, oh, I see. I see. Okay. So we prompted them. I don't know why I named my variables like this. Like, what what is template generate? It should have this should have been called command uh, command generate prompt or something. I don't know why I named it template generate. That is so that is so bad. I don't know why I named it like that. Uh, all right, man. Say my name. Take it easy, man. Have a good one. Thank you so much for checking out the stream. I appreciate it. And join as a member too. I appreciate. it. Thank you. Hope you have a good one. Okay, command name prompt. Let's do one more thing. It's like old as well. Okay, so command. You cough? Did I cough? I don't even remember. I had like a little. Uh, I need to drink some water. Go to the prompter. Oh, I already did that already. Wow. All right, there we go. So we do command. So I'll return the name. Okay, perfect. That's a proper command. Bye. It's night. Gotta cut up with some sleep. All right. Say wom. Have a go on mad. Take it easy. Uh, trap is how are you man nice seeing you here i cite my words in here with my phone what a bro moment that's dedication right there that's all i gotta say so before in the old code i checked to see if the slappy file exists uh after i called the method but i actually check it before which is okay so since we already know the file already exists we can actually continue um, if file exists, const language equals get file. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we need to get the we need to get the file. We need to get the uh, not file. We need to get the uh, we need to get the JSON file. You can see right over here. We that's what we did right over here. We had to get the slappy file. So I'll have to read the slappy file, and then I'll have to get the language because that's how we'll know. Um, that's how we'll know which language to work with. I think maybe the initialize might need to actually be changed, unfortunately. I think the initialize shouldn't, yeah, I think the initialize is kind of like the constructor. Um, it shouldn't necessarily call any methods. So I think I might to fix that because it really only should initialize the fields. And I might need to make the config a. Uh, I might need to make the config a um, an optional parameter because I might need to reuse this method again. So that's my biggest fear. Wait, why did I name this? There we go. Yeah, I might need to actually get rid of this. And what I'll need to do is... Okay. And once I'm done with that, okay. Yeah, I think initialize really should only be for initializing stuff. I don't think it should be calling anything because I need to reuse it over and over again. So I'll have to fix that. Okay, that's fine. So what I need to do is I need to go into file system and and I need to let's see I need to read the file in UTF-8 encoding and then parse it. Okay, that's fine. Async. So here we will just do this const text, literally the same thing. I'll just copy and paste it. Okay, so this should be a slappy file. So what we'll do is we shall do this. Uh, there's some real coding. It is indeed. Uh, vertex. What kind of thing to use? Uh, material theme icons. There's two. Just look up one of them, and you'll find the one that I use. No problem.
Okay. So this will give us the file. So we just do this const. Uh, let's see. And then we should have, though I should really type annotate this. Uh, I, I think I could actually, I, I, I could, I can, I can cast this to slightly config. JSON, yep, that'll return promise. I don't even need to cast this anymore. So now I have access to everything like that, and it should be fine, assuming that they don't mess anything up, assuming they don't touch anything, uh, it should be okay. Just install Slap and Start a bot, nice. I'm glad you like it. That's great. Let's see, so this should get that, and then the rest of the stuff that we gotta do should be pretty straightforward. Scaffold. Alright, so this is just generating a command, which should be pretty basic. So all we do is we get the language, so I think that's all we really need. Um... Yeah, the rest of this is, is light work, so. So that's dir, we're gonna get the source directory. Um, we want the commands. I almost forgot to pass in category. So this what this will do is this will give us the file path to the category because a category is basically just a folder that holds all the commands, right? So I'm not gonna call this call it category directory. Um. And we will need to check to see if this uh, category exists. That's what this code does, right? If the category exists, um, let me just check this code. Yeah. So if it exists, um, then it'll create the file inside that category. If it doesn't, it'll create the director and then create the command file. I am using uh, Nord. That's the name of the thing, Nord. Uh, do I need to create another? I hope I don't need to create another helper function. So we have find file, but do we have exists? So we don't have exists, so let's get exists. Let's do that. And so return a boolean. All right, so now what we do is we do this exists 
taking the foul path. It returns a boolean. And all we do is do a try catch. So we're going to do the same method that we did fs.access, right? I think actually we could probably... No, nah, let's, let's not reuse find file. Let's just do this. So we're going to find that file. We're going to return false if it's not found. We're going to return true if it is found. All right. So now what we do, you see this. We pass in category directory. So that's the path to directory. And if it exists, good. If it exists, then what we'll need to do is we'll need to just create the command inside. If it doesn't exist, then we'll just create the directory and the command. So create directory, create command. Uh, no problem. Do you have a way to remove commands yet? Uh, not yet. I was thinking about adding it, but I decided not to add it. The reason why I decided not to add it was because it would have just been really annoying to manage because people will move the commands around. Um, I mean, I could try to do it at some point. I personally don't think it's a good idea to have a CLI delete files, though. I just don't think a CLI should have the permission to do that, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. Like, some people might like it, some might not. I just think it's dangerous because, you know, I don't know. I just think it's dangerous, in my opinion. And adding that would make it so opinionated because you would need to ensure, you need to force the users to put the commands in the same file and they can't move it around. If they do, it'll mess some things up. So, what keyboard am I using? I'm using a Ducky 1 2 Mini. Disable commands. So, here's the thing with Slappy, right? Um, actually, yeah, you're right. I could make it disable commands. That's a good idea. But the problem is that here's the thing, like a lot of people are suggesting a lot of different features, but adding those features would end up making Slappy a framework. And I, that's, that's not what Slappy is, right? Slappy is not a framework. All it is, is just to generate a tool, just to generate, uh, assets. That's it. But I don't know, maybe in the future, I'll, I'll add some more extra features. You know, the plugins, right? The plugins, that's the whole point. The plugins, we want to make it so that people can create their own plugins. I, we got to figure that out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to figure that out. I think that sounds like a good idea, like plugins. So if you want to create your own plugin, you can add it into it, and then they'll disable commands for you. I think that'll be a good idea. I'll have to find a way to do that, though. I'm not sure how I would do it, but we'll have to figure it out. Okay, so if it exists, what do we want to do? Well... We want to get the command file. So that's going to be based on the language as you can see over here, right? So let's do command file. And we're going to get the language. Yep, we have the language. So the language is equal to JavaScript. What we'll do is we will. And this is where I had my capitalize function. Excuse me. Tired.
I think that's the same thing. Yep, yep, perfect. Whenever I load Lava, I get everything that was compiled in more recent. Uh, yeah, you need to install a later version of Java. Uh, I would recommend Java 14, I think, with uh, Lava Link. So just install a new version of uh, Lava Link. I mean, not Lava Link, uh, Java, and you'll be fine. Uh, I had that issue too. All right, so now we get the command name. Command. Call the command file name, and then const command file path, path.join. And all we do here is we get the category dir and we join that with command file name, just like that. And then, oh, I see the next thing I do is I do another check to see if the command exists. So let's see. I'm just thinking about how I would end up testing this. I feel like, because uh, I'm calling it exists again. I, I think I might need to actually mock it and then I need to reset the mock and I need to mock it again, which is gonna be annoying, but it'll be doable. So we check to see if the command exists. Const command exists equal await this stuff file system exists. And this is where we check to see if the, the command file currently exists. So this is good so you don't overwrite it. Okay, so if no command exists, then we create the command file. Uh, otherwise, we throw an error. All right, that's fine. Now, what do I have here? Create command file is another uh, function. So this is going to actually go into the uh, create command file. Create command file is actually going to be a function that's going to be inside of uh, our, I think, is it file system or should be, I think it should be a generator actually. Yeah, it should be a generator. Yep, it should be a generator. Okay. So let's see. So we're going to need to call the generator and the generator is going to basically have a method called generate command. Yes, generate command. Uh, and then that will pretty much just be wrapper around the file system. So let's go ahead and go to generator, generate command. And all we do is we just pass in the file name, and that's it. That's all it is. And we'll also have one for generate event as well. All right, then we just got to implement those two methods. All right. And you can see what it does right over here, it just writes the file. So all we do is we just do this. Uh, we already know what the file is, but we need the language. So, and because we don't have, we have not initialized, uh, well actually, you know what? We can actually initialize our manager. Wait, not manager, generate. Okay, so we initialize the generator so the generator knows what language it is. 
and then we just do the same thing. So if it's a JavaScript file, uh, we'll get the JavaScript template. If it's a TypeScript file, we'll get the TypeScript template. So we do this. So const template. And you can see right over here, get command template. So is JS. We get the command template. And all we do is we pass in uh, the name. So we need the name as well as the category in our function. We'll need to go ahead and go up over to our over here. So name string category string. There we go. Perfect. Would you push a dev branch or something when you're finished today so we can have a look at today's code? Sure. I'll push right before I get off. Uh, give me my template. So here we pass in the name and the category. And now if it's a TypeScript file, we do get command template ts name category and bam, we have our templates. And now we just simply do this dot file system dot create file. And we want to pass in the file path, which we already joined together already. And we pass in the data. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what happens. So the first time we do this, uh, it should just go into the if case. Well, actually, wait a minute. No, no, no. Wait, it shouldn't. Because the category does not exist. So if it doesn't exist, we need to actually create the we need to create the directory. So to do that, we can just simply do and we need the name of the directory, or not the name, but um, we just need the file path. So uh, oh, that's right up here, directory category dir. So that'll create the directory, and now we can create the command. So to create the command, it's literally just the same thing. You get the command name. I get the command path. It's just reusable code at this point. I feel like all this should go inside template generator because it's reusable code. Like, why am I rewriting the same thing over and over again? I feel like this should just go inside here. Uh, let's see. I feel yeah. I feel like it should just go inside here. Get command name. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this inside here. Cons. Because I'm rewriting the same thing over and over again. I don't want to do that. Uh, we need to get command name. That's our helper function. We put in the name. And then we put in this dot language. Uh, this is this dot language. It's possibly undefined. I'm going to type assert that because I know what the hell I'm doing. With this if. There we go. We'll throw an error. Um, okay, so we'll get the command name. We'll, uh, let's see. I already passed in the file path already, but that's just the category. What do I just pass in the category path then? Okay, yeah, yeah, we that's fine. So we pass in the category path, and then we just do. All right, so if. Okay, so if the command doesn't exist, we do this.
Let me double check. Okay, yeah. How do you life? You don't make profit, right? What do you mean? I have a. Well, I work full time on week weekdays. Okay. So if the category exists, we will just do await oh, this dot. Uh, generator generate command, and we pass in the category path. So category der the name, and then we pass in. Wait. Oh, category. There we go. And now we do the same thing here. All right, there we go. So now we don't have to rewrite the same code over and over again. So I'm pretty confident it should work first try. Let's try it out. Let me also do one more thing. Generate, generate command. Even with Java 4 to get the error, you need to restart your computer and then make sure you uninstall the any any version of Java, uninstall it. My problem I had the problem where I had uninstalled I had installed Java 14 or Java 11, but I, I still had Java 8 installed. I uninstalled it and I restarted my computer and then it worked. So try that. If it doesn't then um, I don't know, we could figure something else out. Alright. So let's build. Okay. CD into app. Um, Why is saying method not implemented? Did I do create event by accident? I have a feeling I did. Hold on. Uh, it should do create command. I don't know why it's... Uh, apparently it's calling create event. I don't know why it's calling create event. Uh, structure equals equals command. Maybe... Maybe command is not what we think it is. Interesting. We're going to have to rebuild again. I see. One, two, three, four. Why is that the case? To Hold on, wait. Oh, I, I freaking, oh my god, I casted option like an idiot, it should have been data. I must have looked at the other one. Alright, you know, let me do this. Let 
there we go. So let's do hello, hello world. Uh, invalid structure. Well, it created that, but why did it throw the error though? Oh, I know why, I know why. It's because we didn't return. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. I'm curious about programming. Is it difficult to learn any programming language? Um, I wouldn't say it's difficult, but you do need to want to learn it, and you do need to have to put in time and effort into it to really, you know, make it out there. If you if you make a plan and if you dedicate some time to it, I don't think it'll be super difficult. But I'm not gonna say it's easy at the same time as well. It's not working. It is working not, but it says refuse to connect because you need to start up your leveling server. All right, let's see. So, okay, yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so it did generate the command, as you guys can see right here. It generated the command perfectly. That's exactly what it needs to do. So that's working, but now let's try to generate the same command again. Hello, hello world. And you're gonna see that it says, hello command already exists. Okay, it already exists. Now, if the category exists, we just generate the command. If the category doesn't exist, we generate the category and we generate the command. Now let's try one more time. Let's call this hello, and let's do uh, money, and let's do the same category. Okay, don't worry about the error. Money command, and it's under the same category. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So it's working. It's working just fine. Okay, it's working just fine. Uh, all right, so I think that's pretty much it for commands. Um, I'm going to have to write some test cases for this tomorrow or later this week because I'm definitely not going to do that today because I'm like I've been doing it for uh, I've, been, I've been coding for like four hours straight how long have you been in that kind of field of work uh, for a bit for a bit for a bit okay so we have create command. Do I really want to do create event right now? Let's, let's see. Let me see what I have to do with create events. We're almost done. So create event is a little bit interesting because create event uh, uses a loop. And what it does is it basically just... Um, Okay, because with create event, what you can do is you can select multiple events. Let me see if I can show you guys the prompt real quick. Uh, let's see. If we go here, you can see we have event generate. And events can also be, I think, grouped into... If I remember correctly, can events be grouped into... Categories, I think they can. Okay, no. Uh, no. Uh, events don't get grouped into categories. So I got to change this to... And I'll and I'll get rid of the any later, so I because I don't plan on leaving this any. I'm gonna have to type assert it. Um, okay, so generate event will only return events. We're gonna make this return just the events. So it's just gonna be an array of events. Okay. Uh, so here we don't do that. We do this, and I'm gonna need to type assert this. So let me actually do that over there. It'll be an array of any, but realistically, I kind of want to make it so that... Well, let me look at the structure. So I, I might need to actually look at the... Okay, I think I got it. I think I need to actually look at the the structure of the array, and then and then uh, I can create an interface to type it. Because I don't want to do any. You know what I mean? Like, 
and he's bad. I just have a placeholder right now. All right, so create event. We'll create the events. And all right, let's go ahead and just build this. So now we'll do gen event. There we go. So now let's do select, select. So one of the biggest issues that a lot of people didn't realize was that you needed to actually use your space bar to select everything. Uh, so I'll make sure I leave instructions on that. But you click enter. Okay, so it seems like uh, we actually need to, we actually have an array of, um, of strings. So I guess I can create, I guess I can create like a, an enum or something. I don't know, a type. And, and then we'll end up having like a array of types, I guess. Uh, let me see. So you can see over here that we get the sloppy file. Lava link is running. It's probably running on a different port. You got to check that. Let's see. Okay, I remember what I did. So. It's probably running on a different port. Okay, so since we already checked the file already, we need to check it again. The only thing we need to check is the language. So I can just do that right over here. Oh wait, I I know. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, so we get the language here, and then const. The slappy follow we pass in. Yep. No, that's a local host. Yeah, so uh, your problem is that it's running on port two three three three. Uh well, okay, so your 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 bot is trying to connect to port two three three three. But it's likely that your lava link is not running on port two three three. I think by default lava link run, runs on port eighty eighty. You gotta double. Ch you gotta check the logs of lava link. Okay, so if it exists, uh, let's see. If it exists, uh, all we do is we have to check the events path. If the events path, wait, why did I do this? Because it should have always had the events path, though. I guess maybe I was being extra. Oh, I remember. That's right. Events doesn't have any categories. That's right. I remember. I remember someone wanted categories for events, but it was, like, way too much work. I'll worry about that later, though. Okay. Um, I guess we could do the same thing again. Events 
exists. Wait a minute, hold on. What am I doing here? I already know this exists already. What am I doing over here? What the hell? File is a sloppy file. Okay, I need to change this to this. Okay, what I need to do here is events dir, because I already know the file exists already. So I don't need to check it again. So if exists, if the directory exists, then we will create, if it doesn't exist, we'll create it. And the directory that we create is the events there. Okay. And now, after we create that directory, uh, we need to get the What I do here, I think over here, I, I think is where this is where I loop through everything. Um, I think this is where I need to actually call the generator. All right, so I think it's just going to be a loop. It'll call it x amount of times. And uh, let's see. I... Yeah, I think we'll leave it like this. So it'll just be a loop. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So let's see what I do here. initialize the generator and then we can just pass it into the generator the generator can take care of uh, the language and everything so I think all we need is just to pass in the file path yeah that's fine that's fine I think all we just need to do is pass in the events directory Yeah, no. I know. I think I'm going to do this. Okay, yeah, I'll do this instead. All right. And we will need to
We'll need the events. We'll need the uh, events directory. Uh, let's see, events. Okay, yep, that's fine. So we'll just call that. I think I could just return from here and let this take care of everything. So we have the language already, we initialized it. And what we do here is we could just get the language. I'll do another check if this dot language. Okay. So const is JS, it's not language. Okay. Okay, and I think what I did here was, let's see. Event file name equals get event. Is it true that bots on Python works well more often than JS? I have no clue about that. Lava link was in the project directory and it was on source lava link long folder. Okay, that's good. Yeah, if it's on the right directory, the it won't read the application.yml file properly, which is uh, pretty annoying. Uh, can you host Lava Link on Heroku? I know there's a way you can do it. Uh, try Googling Heroku Lava Link and you'll find some GitHub repositories. Back again, I'm using this background music, no problem, man. I won't copyright you. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, so we have that. Uh, let's see. So we have the file name already. So this is just the file name that we're getting. Events file path is just gonna be directory as well as a file name. I'll just do file path. Okay. And then we have it already, right? CSJS, CSJS. Okay. And now all we just do is we check to see const exists equal await this stuff file system dot exists if exists then we will do that otherwise we'll throw a new error Perfect. So if it doesn't exist, we will create it. OK, 
create the file just like that right over here. And we also need a template. Oh, I forgot to get the template. Oh, shoot. Why did I have, why do I have the templates like this? Oh, yeah, I remember now. No, just sound for me while I'm working. As in the bot in the same application, yeah. You're so chill, huh? Thanks, man. I try. I try. Jake, I don't need to try. I don't think you should need to try to be chill. That's just how I am naturally. Okay, so we'll get the templates. Will it let me? Ho hopefully it'll let me do this. Okay, so I need to get the template. I don't think this is going to let me do that. If it will let me do that, that will be awesome. I think actually it will let me do it because my ESLint isn't going to complain. Because I don't have an ESLint enabled right now. Yep. It's going to let me do it. Yep, perfect. Alright, now we are at the grand finale of everything. All right, let's see if it works. Uh, what is going on? That's weird. Oh, wait, why didn't they complain about it, though? That's so weird. Why did it not complain about it? Templates. <laughs> I don't know why that build succeeded. Uh, why did it throw an error? Channel create event yes, already exists. Oh. Alright, you know, I'm not going to throw an error. Alright, so we'll just ignore. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Perfect. All right, that should be it for events. So really the last thing I need to do is this. We need to go into the templates and we need to, instead of using .env, we import the const.
Uh, well, the main file, let's see, is in... I hope this doesn't have any issues, but... Uh, okay, so... This is the index.ts. So we go out one, and you go into slappy.json. So there shouldn't be any issues with this. So instead of slappy config, uh, instead of process.ing v, we just do config.token. Okay, and then give me file ts, we import. I hope TypeScript will let me import JSON, TypeScript, import JSON. Will TypeScript actually let me import JSON or do I need to set a uh, a something in the TS config? Because that'll be really annoying if it doesn't. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna cheat. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna cheat. Don't worry, no one no one will say anything about that. No one no one will say anything about that, don't worry. project you'll see that we have our index okay we can get rid of this that's fine and it'll just literally look inside here for the token I may have messed something up. Uh, yeah, I forgot to change it to index. So yeah, it's gonna throw an error because it says, uh, oh, wait, base command. I got. I keep. I keep forgetting to fix that. I'll fix that later. All right. All right. There we go. It works. You can see that this invalid token was provided. If I provide a real token, it would. It would work just fine. So, um, yeah, it uh, works. It works great. I like it. And wow, it took wow, it took like six hours for me to rewrite all this. But we are finally done. Uh, I'm not fully done yet. I'm not going to publish it, but I'm going to commit the code. Um, And I will probably publish this tomorrow, or later this week. I'm happy that I got it done though, because I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I never really had the chance to do it. So I'll leave the old code alone, um, lib. And I'm yeah, I'm too tired to write uh, tests, so I'll do that later. Uh, GitHub project. Alright, let's see. Oh, it seems like I made a branch a while ago, but this was oh, this was a long time ago. Alright. Uh, 
Oh my god, it looks so much better. Wait, why does this keep saying file system though? I don't know why it keeps changing this because I have a name file system, but it changes to lurks. I have no idea why, but too tired to figure it out. Oh my god, this looks so much better. This looks so much better. All right, I'll have to test everything later this week. It's not done yet, but I'll try to get it done as, as much as fast as possible. I gotta write test cases, gotta write, uh, fix up some other things. But yeah, that's, that's awesome. I like it, I like it, I like it. I got, I got a lot of feedback from a lot of people. I feel bad because I never really looked at the issues until like last week. But I got some pretty good. I got some pretty good feedback though. Anyways, that's pretty much it for what I have for this. I'm just glad that I uh, got this done so I can pretty much merge this tomorrow. I can write tests and it'll be it'll be freaking awesome i like it Alright, I guess I'm going to get off. I've been streaming for five and a half hours, so anyways, I'm going to get off. So, yo, thank you guys so much for watching the stream. If you guys are still here, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I pushed everything to the rewrite branch, so there you go. So you can go ahead and look at it. You can make a fork, start the repository. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna work. I'm probably gonna work on the website. Um, I'm 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 likely not gonna stream this week because uh, busy, 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 and it's also Christmas. So I'll probably stream maybe on Saturday next week, Saturday. And Sunday, maybe. We'll see. I found nothing on the Heroku Lava Link thing. <sighs> uh, I mean, there are a few things. I've never done it before. But you can click on that Google search and you can look through each one. I've never tried it, so I can't recommend you one to use. Because I've never done Heroku with Lava Link. I would recommend if you have the if you have an opportunity I would recommend um, maybe get a VPS because I really don't recommend Heroku with Lava Link though. The problem is that Heroku, even if you get it up running, Lava Link uses at least like one gigs of RAM. And Heroku doesn't give you that much for the free tier. So I wouldn't I would not recommend it. Um, but if you must, then you shall. If you have if you if you, if uh, if you could buy a VPS, I would suggest that you could get DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean or uh, Linode is good. Yeah, you can get an AWS free tier, but 
I mean, it's only one gig of RAM though, so. The downside of Lava Link is that it does take up a lot of RAM, which is unfortunate. Anyways, I'm gonna get off. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.